All right, what is up, YouTube? We are back again with Aegis. Uh, if you remember, last week we played Aegis Team Tournament, and Mtux was able to sweep it for us. This time around, we're actually going to be the ones uh, first up on the block. So, you know, we get a chance to actually play at least one set of games today. Uh, but once again, just to recap, this is a team tournament that's been running for a little while. We're in playoffs right now. I think we're in quarterfinals? Top 8? I think it's top 8. I don't know. It's something like that. Um, either way, though, uh, it's uh, three versus three, uh, king of the hill. So winner stays on, uh, loser is out, and then you keep playing until one team does not have any players left. So it should be pretty fun. Uh, our lineup today is, let me drag this back over. Uh, we have Red Scion, Red Viego, Red Pantheon. This is the burned version of Scion. This is the Camvoran Soldier, uh, Camvoran Deserter, rather. Um, whatever it's called, the big deserter guy, Legion deserter, uh, and then normal Pantheon. So we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we are playing against Scallywag here. They are up first. Uh, they ended up bringing Yellow Viego, Pantheon, and then Sundisk. So looking at matchup tables, my understanding is that Viego should be favored into these two, and even here, uh, Science should be triple favored. And then Pantheon, this is of course even, this is like maybe slightly favored, and this is very favored. So what's going to happen here is we're going to end up banning Viego, and they're most likely going to ban Scion. We have a 50-50 here, we're favored, we're favored, we're favored. So the big thing is going to be trying to find uh, Shurima, Mono Shurima, and picking the W up there um, for both of our decks. But yeah, see how it goes. Okay, well... They decided to ban Red Viego, which is dope because I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Can I keep it keep it a buck fifty? I haven't played a single game of Red Viego. Don't tell anyone. I told Mtux I played it a little bit. I haven't played it. I literally have not played a game of it. So, um, yeah, that's exciting. Dope. All right, we're against Pantheon first. So in this matchup, just trying to go wide. They have two Guiding Touch, one Chain Vest, no gifts. Uh, one Petrocyte Broadwing, so they're a little bit better into aggro than some other versions. Yeah, this seems like a pretty solid start. I think I'm down to kick these two. I want like a Boom Baboon, maybe. Chompers are always good. Stuff like that. Okay. This is a start. Draven would be nice with a hand like this. Okay. Dope. That's five damage that they don't heal. They ain't healing that shit. They ain't healing that shit. Tell somebody. Tell somebody. I think I pass here. If they pass back. I think I'm okay with that. If they don't, then we can just dredge her next turn. We feel pretty okay with ourselves. Banking mana isn't like that bad for us. Right. Chain bus. Interesting. Okay. That's pretty annoying. We could just like ditch Scion right now. How bad would that be? It wouldn't even be that bad, honestly. How many one drops do we run? Let me look real quick. We run region rear guard, rear guard as our other one drop. So we aren't really like that. We literally have to hit like third Zonite. I think I'm down to just do this though. I think it's okay. Just cycle it. Just continue going wide. Make it difficult for them to ah uh, oh, damn. One draw late. It's fine. We just keep discarding. We just try and push as much damage as possible. If they value block, they're taking seven. Uh, if they play down dragon, then they can like value block here. Oh, is this cataclysm? Cataclysm's kind of cute, honestly. Like cataclysm here. It means that they. Well, it's not that great. Oh, okay. Dope. I mean, that's fine. Pushing at least five here. Yeah, five. Nope. Great. 
This is their one Broadwing, by the way. Them hitting it in this matchup is definitely good for them. Burn. I probably want to save that for face, if at all possible. I think I kick Poro Cannon here. They can't have anything at one mana. So yeah, I, I think I think Dredger here is pretty solid. Wow, that would have been nice a couple turns ago. It's fine. Mm, that's annoying. Oh, interesting. We could just hard cast this. That maybe pushes three damage. Hmm. Pantheon's not flipping. It it feels like the the way that they've been playing that they're low on units. So I think I'm down to try and push like the last bit of damage here. Okay. Obviously not that low on units. <laughs> I could shoot this. Not so bad to like sharp sight. Pale as well. Dope. I wonder if it's ever worth throwing a mystic shot here. They haven't targeted this turn, so like probably not, honestly. Like we're incentivizing them to target this turn. Okay. Well, dope. So it definitely was not worth throwing something at it. That's fine. Hmm. Could decimate here. We could pass. We just have to find a little bit more damage. We run a lot of it, obviously. We run a lot. I think I'm down to decimate here. Scion off the top is pretty nice because he's flipped. Do they run hush? They don't run hush. We could shoot this right now. I think it's definitely not worth it. Hmm, that's rough. That's rough. Are we dead on open? What they gem, she flips, so what? That's like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We are dead on open, so we need to develop blockers or something. And we also want to develop this out for our one of fervor, right? That's rough. They run Rally as well. They run two. So we could definitely just be dead here. The Broadwing has kind of owned us. Um, I think we just have to assume that we're hitting Burn off the top, right? It's kind of it. It's kind of just like a hit, Burn, or Die. 
I think we have to save this that way get excited to now because we have what triple get excited triple get excited one mystic shot one fervor decimate doesn't get us there anymore because we aren't getting an action right so it really is just like get excited off the top get excited or mystic or fervor fervor loses to a lot fervor's losing to two singles two concerteds and burn is too everything's losing Nothing to do though. Just have to draw it right here. Burn. Damn. Let's find a new best friend. Okay. Technically not dead, Kek W. I feel like it's a rally or a cataclysm here. Yep, GG. Okay. Couldn't quite get there on the burn, but that's fine. It's fine. It happens. Alright. So now it is Monoshirima. Should be favored for us, but I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of times I lose favored matchups more than I uh, lose... Unfavored matchups. So we'll see. I think it's a full kick. I don't think I want any of those. I want some early units. If one Soothsayer, one Golden Ambassador, some Devout, some Rock Hoppers, some Clockwork Curators, two Deny, two Hourglass. Okay. Okay. This is a curve. I mean, this is a good curve. We draw one of Fervor. That's dope. I like to see it. I like to see it. Okay. Dope. Three on one. That's great. That's great. We feel great about that. Dope. That means we're pushing seven damage at least next turn. I don't think we use Grenadier yet. I think that we want to do this in case of Devout, right? Wow. And if we find discard outlets, I mean, we could play one to discard the other. Yeah. I love something dredger so much, actually. Dope. If it's medicine, I, I can ride it. it. Um, we could discard a grenadier right here to get rid of this. The worry is, like, if I develop Dredger into the Roiling Sands, it's, like, really bad into Ride of the Arcane, right? So instead, next turn, we could just, like, Dredger a Grenadier or something. Like, we pass here, Dredger a Grenadier. Hmm. It's an interesting question. Yeah, I just don't want to give them the Ride of the Arcane. They run triple, right? I don't want to give it to them. Draven. That's kind of a punish, I guess. Alright, well, let's go ahead and draw a card first. Decimate is pogged. I think I'm down to do this. It seems unlikely of me if they have more units. They might, but we'll see. 
I just need to push a little bit of damage here. Because we have seven burn in hand, right? So like quicksand's worst case scenario of course. Okay. Do this and deny them the thing. How much do I care? I think I do care. I think I want to do it now. Pass here. You could just Revenant. We could Draven. We could Draven and then eat our survival skills. We also get an extra axe off of Draven, right? Because if they attack, then we can uh, block the Sand Soldier. Seems good to me. Ideally, we're drawing, like, one more burn spell here, right? Okay. So that's going to end up pinging here. It's fine. So I have to have literally double right here. I guess I could have double right next turn. Huh? They only run two. So the issue is I'm like never getting in on the ground again, right? It's actually it's impossible to get in on the ground. These are both flipping next turn. And they're giving me this, right? There's no point in that, by the way. There's actually there's no point in that. That was just stupid. <laughs> Axing my survival skills there made no sense, by the way. Actually, this is right of the arcane, and it made total sense. I assume this is right of calling, right? Yeah, no, I mean, that's, that's fine. So they want the round start ping, right? That's the idea here. So, 
Dope, 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 dope. <laughs> I feel bad for the casters who have caster vision. Like, they're probably literally staring at the hands and like, oh, I mean, you know, he just needs to throw down his burn. But like, I don't know, I'm trying to bait them into tapping below deny. We were one mana off of playing like all of our burn on that turn and forcing them to have like literally double deny and the moment that they tap out, it's an issue. But yeah. Not the most well played or not the most like clean game in the world, but you know, a W is a W, I think. Um, I mean, it seems kind of hot. We really want to find over one, right? Okay. Goat's a great draw. I love having goat here. Dope. Take our one damage. That's damage will matter, by the way. This one damage right here, that's gonna be the difference maker. Just you wait. Just you wait. Um, do I want my gem that badly? And I fuck with having a gem. It also just pass. Um. Gem. She's getting this up to like five, right? So it dies to ride the arcane if I attack next turn, if I like open attack into their mana. I think I'm down to get go down. I think it'll be okay. I would like access to my gem. All right. I do think attaching this this turn seems pretty good. Start stacking it up. If they pass, we probably have to pass back. Are we gonna eat it? Or block, block. They can ride of the arcane next turn and he dies. But we're getting Yumi progress. Yumi progress seems good. Sharp's a good draw. Because now we survive right of the arcane, which is great. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm down to gem. They probably have an attack here, honestly. Okay. We got dragon down here. Dragon D's nuts. Yeah, I think getting dragon down. Broadwing. How goes Broadwing here? It's okay. It's all right. No overwhelm's definitely rough for us, by the way. Okay. I will run you over. We could do this. 
So this survives, grab the arcane. I just say okay, I could sharp to heal. I could sharp right here, just to push two damage. This gets my target, but then I'm using my single, right? And I think I want to hold on to my single. Yeah, my worry is right of the arcane. I think I say okay, and then I, uh, I'm going to sharp sight post combat just for the target and for the healing. All right, they run triple right of the arcane, so I kind of want to play around that if I can. I've showed them, I think, here that I either have second Yumi in hand or single. So they know that, and that's information I probably shouldn't have given them, but now they know. Okay, I'm still gonna sharp here. Zerith will be flipping next turn if they have him, which could be an issue. Bright steel here. Zerus already flipped. Obviously, they're not playing him down this turn, right? The bright steel right here, maybe. Or we could just like slam Pantheon. We do Panth plus single. Nah, quicksand's so bad. If I go with that, right? I could do this and set up like a single here. Interesting. Yeah, I think we're getting Pantheon down here. I'd like a target off the top. Yummy. Scout. We do have quick attack. We do have challenger. Quick attack, challenger, and fierce. Oh, I was gonna say I don't think they really want to develop into us because they have challenger, but I guess they are going level three, so it doesn't matter that much. Could single from here. Pressure that. Force like a deny or uh, an hourglass. Could also attack first. Just pull his ear. Doesn't really force a block out of anything other than devout, right? Which could be an issue. Isn't a fury either. Hmm. Quicksand doesn't save them here.
Where's my Zenith Blade this game? That's my question. Where was my Zenith Blade? Zenith would have been really nice. I mean, I was supposed to mull harder for it. And we had Cat, right? We had Cat plus Saga Seeker, and that's the only thing we kept. I feel like I'm supposed to keep them. Seems unlikely to me that I'm supposed to kick those guards. But I know I might be wrong. Okay. Seemed pretty likely. All things considered. Could play this out. It'll eat the Zareth proc at the beginning of next turn. It's probably worth playing out. Quicksand's really annoying here, by the way. Pull like this to play around Quicksand. That way, if they end up Quicksanding here, uh, or Azir still does. Seems good. They do run three, so it's like not unlikely if they have it. But I think I just kind of have to throw my Pantheon into them. Yeah. Rough position. We didn't hit great Pantheon keywords. We're getting zapped here. There's only one. Interesting. Another Pantheon's great. We're very happy with that. I want to see Yummy. Does Yummy have Spell Shield? She does. Okay, so if they attack, we block. We're taking 10 plus 6, 7, 8. I'm just passing here. I want to trade off Saga Seeker if it's if possible. Wait, I'm not getting Yumi back. Why am I not getting Yumi back? Hello? When Ally leaves play, recall me. What the fuck does Obliterate say? Completely removed from the game? And it sounds like leaving play to me. Is that something other than leaving play? That's kind of crazy. That's really annoying. I wanted to give my uh, Pantheon Spell Shield. That's really annoying, actually. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what to say about that. I don't know what to say about that. That's crazy. I want one more target, so I have another shot at hitting, like, Elusive Scout, right? Elusive Scout Spell Shield is what we want. Zenith here is ideal. Not Zenith. We could concert it right now for the proc. I think we probably do, honestly. Or maybe I'm supposed to wait. That way he gets the... Um, he gets the other proc, right? That might be better. I could definitely see that being better. Third Zareth, huh? No scout, no elusive. Did it spell shield and challenger? But those are not enough here. Those truly are not enough here. I think we're dead. Wow. Um, if I had saved Concerta Strike, or would we be in a better spot? Not really. 
Search Strike doesn't save us. Just no Zenith played the entire game. That's rough. Hmm. I came in attack with this, huh? I think we just lose. Fuck. Even hit life seal, dude. The roll is not there with us. That's rough. That's rough. Yeah, it just wasn't getting there this game. GG, buddy. GG. Damn, that's rough. That's a bummer. Yo, what's up? What's up, dude? That's rough. Yeah, not getting the entire zenith is rough. Yeah, no zenith at any point. And then we didn't hit scout or elusive. Anything. Yeah, your keywords kind of suck. That was rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, also, I didn't realize that I wasn't getting uh, Yumi back if I blocked there. Yeah, Blitz kind of cringe. Yeah, no, that was really annoying. Like, I wanted Yumi, that way I could slap Spell Shield on my uh, Pantheon. But, yeah. No, that just did not quite work out properly. Yeah, unfortunately. Yep, yep, yep. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Right, so By the way, chat. Everybody who's in chat right now, I want you guys to know, we're at 997 subscribers. God damn it, get in there and subscribe. We're literally three away from 1,000. This is your last chance to be in the first thousand subscribers on this channel. Again, this channel is going to the moon. We're going to hit at least a million, right? And you can say that you were part of the first thousand. <laughs> yeah, no, you guys should subscribe, though. That's depressing. God, I just need to actually get good. Don't worry, you'll carry me out. I'll have time to learn between now and next week. <laughs> we're not first time next week. Let's go. Wait, they banned the deck I was first timing, so like we were fine. <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird ban, but I mean, it's what it is. Okay, they so we're playing Fizz them. Riven against Viego. Um, is our boy on the Lantern version? He is. I'm assuming so. I mean, okay. In, okay. in this matchup, that's fine, because uh, Rainbow Fish is like kind of cracked. I the, hear you, I hear you, but how many Rainbow Fish does he have in his deck? Take a guess. Wait. What? You know, it is what it is. Uh, we are looking We're here at... here now? We got this. Oh, we got Fizz. We have Fizz and Librarian. Oh, we have the combo. Wait, okay. So, Yordle Squire plus Librarian is a broken combo. Because you take Shield here, you drop Shield on Librarian, and it's a 3-4. But well, we didn't take Shield. Okay, I... We probably lagged there, if I had to guess. <laughs> no, it's fine, it's I think fine. I, think, I, I do think it's actually fine in this matchup to not take shield, because like, a lot of their stuff has a lot of attack. Like, a lot of attack. Yeah, yeah, but three fours like, deal with like uh, the 3-3, three, three, right? It's good into the 3-3, three, three, but wait, no, you definitely develop. Yeah, what are we playing around? I guess the 2-3. The 2-3 two, three. The two, is a fair. Like, uh, I think you're playing no, because we're developing the 3-1, right? Runeweaver? I would, if you're developing it. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess Vile Feast blows that out. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's fine. We just need, like, we really need Riven or a combo piece. Yeah, Riven or double attack guy is ideal, right? Going wide isn't, like, super effective in this matchup, so it feels like the Lantern version isn't doing quite as much as the other. Um, okay, so this is Merciless Hunter. They are hard repping Merciless Hunter there. They wanted us to play out Lantern or Riven, it felt like. Hmm. You know, I was thinking Assistant Librarian has faded. What if it also had Fury? That might be kind of good, huh? Yeah, that would be good. It's just it's just kind of a baby dragon, you know? 
It, 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 it shouldn't have fury, that's for sure. Well, okay, I hear you, I hear you, but like, what if it did though, you know? Kinda cool. I guess this is the correct block. I like it, but... Um... Yeah, getting rid of Grandpa kind of sucks. But we're out of phase I, in hand other than Second Librarian, right? And I don't think Second Librarian matters. Yeah. We really want to start finding uh, something here. You know, an Overwhelm piece, a double attack piece. Something, something, something. Because right now, we have a few units, but once these are out, we have literally nothing in our hand. We can start building out towards a um, towards a completed Riven Blade, so that's cool. We're one follower or one Riven off of that. What did we hit? We hit Overwhelm. That's nice, actually. That's really good. If we wanted to, we could slap Overwhelm on Librarian here just to draw a card. Yeah, I don't hate that. It kind of, like, it sucks if you lose the Librarian, but I think... I think that's, like, what you get out of Librarian. Yeah, the other thing is you're trading it down before Viego comes down, right? Yeah. The other option is play, the other three one is just full swing. Um, push, true, true. You, pu you push six, because he's, what he's doing is he's, he's either holding a vial or he's holding um, uh, for Viego plus... Um, yeah, he wants to play out Waking Sands next turn of Viego and start, like, the Ephemeral Chain. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think this is fine. Yeah, I dig this. This is pushing four damage instead of six, but we get to draw a card. And I like drawing cards. Yeah, it's, it's our draw. Like, the, the one good thing about this version is our draws are all really good, other than Moxie Pelt, though. But we already drew that. So. Yeah, we already drew that, so we're good to go. Um, Ideally, yeah. I, mean, it, I don't know, like, Pokey Stick or Face Sprout, I think, is our best option. But, you know, Might and Elixir are both, like, really good, too, right? Yeah, those turn on, those turn on our mind. Like, Might plays around Quicksand really well. Yeah. So, like, you kind of want that card in this matchup. You just really want... Um... Okay. Mm. So no Viego? Not... That's great for us. What we need to do is not play Fizz until he drops below for you. Agreed. Like They've been key. representing Merciless this entire game. We don't want to give it to him. rule here. Yeah. Yeah, Fizz is kind of our only uh, way of dealing damage right now, and we have Might now, so it's not the end of the world, but. Yeah. There it is. Okay, the, yep, so uh, if you want to play another Fizz, you one! Can. I don't Why are actually there so hate many? Playing Fizz. Um, Yo, Delver Guy, thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you. Okay. We do have Quick Attack next turn, which is pretty big. Um, can they have anything here? Is that quick attack or is that not quick attack? Uh, we do, we have attack. attack. We have just attack. I don't think we can play Fizz here. I think that we have to play around, like, Vile. Yeah, you don't want to play. I don't think there's a reason to play Fizz. Because we, we get, um... We still have mana to, like, yeah. double attack him next turn, right? Yeah, you have the same mana either way, as far as units go. The, there is a question of, do you want to play this one? That's not good. Just, uh, the great I think that's fine. Uh, and, another like, one! Why are there he's so He's not going to now swing now in a way that he wasn't earlier. Just, like, you're not representing anything with mana. Agreed, agreed. Yo, Plateau, thank you. Or Revel with the gift sub. Thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I think you you definitely develop here. Because you, you want the quick attack to be able to put it on your 2 -tier. Uh, Agreed. We get the blade too, right? Do we slap the blade? We probably slap the blade on Librarian, huh? Probably. The pro so, uh, I don't love playing Fizz here. It's not bad, because we're just like kind of playing like a go and anger. Yeah. So I don't hate it. It's just it's probably okay. Hmm. And obviously they're expecting so, a really big attack here, right? Yeah, the issue... So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess the issue that we can think about here is quicksand. They're on three. If we like... If we, yeah, if we go in on this... Um, Librarian and they quicksand us in our fizz. That's a yikes. True, true. So I mean, I think that we put like quick attack on uh, the three one 
and then like plus two attack on Fizz, and then our sword on Librarian. But sounds right, yeah. I mean, Quicksand definitely still makes us very sad, right? Quicksand is still ruining our day. We could whirling. What are your thoughts on? To I was save? gonna say, what are your thoughts on like, like if he does nothing here, what just pass? And what if we just pass? We're missing out on a lot of damage, right? But the issue is that, We're like, giving up our board into a quicksand fucking sucks. Yeah, I mean, we, we do have, like, we could play nothing and just, like, swing here. You'd have to hold back, potentially, Librarian. And then... We could spear Fizz and just get in with Fizz. Come on, come on. I'm trying to think. It also depends on how he lines up block with quicksand. Because, like, there's a... He, he quicksand... Nah, there's no way. Okay. I don't, it, this is a hard one. I think we're just saying we're not playing around. Okay. Like, what are you doing? Okay. Oh! That's cute. Yeah. So what we're saying is that if you pre-commit quicksand, then we can might our assistant librarian. Right? We still draw a card. Yep. That's kind of cool. Oh, this okay. is such a blowout. That's a good block. It's not a really good block. Less good. Less good for I mean, us, but like. This is fun. I think you probably do might spill. Yeah, I think I'm down to. Because, like, what's worst case scenario? They, uh, we burn the quicksand right now and they aren't killing Fizz? That sounds really good to me. The downside is we leave Fizz open to a vial. Uh, true, true, we do. You just have to think, do they have a vial? They used one earlier. It feels like if they had a vial, they would have played it. Unless they're trying to hold up Vengeance. It feels like they would have played it pre-combat. Because one vial saves them, like, I don't know, Whoa. seven health. He just passed on six. Oh. That's cool. That's dope. That's... I mean... This is great for us. Yeah, I think, uh, I think we're in an okay position. If if this hydrovine swings is dead. Um do you think so? Yeah, we have a we have the knocking toughness. True. We don't save this by the way. So, okay. No, no, we we int this. This is fun. Yeah. This. We just say okay. I do think we might wanna get sword down play... this turn. Yeah, sword up this turn. That'd yeah. Very very fine. Um, the issue is sword this turn. Oh, wait, we get sword and we can hold the overwhelm. Never mind, this is great. And you get, um, either plus two or quick attack on the next one. Yeah. I think we sword Riven here. I agree. Because she gets because... the bonus. Yep. Well, that doesn't really matter. She The bonus goes away after this. Uh, wait, is it not grant? No, it's give. It's give for... Increase my power. Oh, each round the first... Increase it by twice the amount. Okay. Well, that's fine. Yo, I'm just so used to killing people the moment that Riven comes down, you know? <laughs> I definitely think you play the... It plays around, um, the nine. That's the There's only so card they want to play. Yeah. No, I still think we definitely want to blade this turn. Because it also is one less action that we're giving them. Yeah. I don't like the skin. Do you like the skin? No. Not oh, a it fan. is permanent. What the heck? You're right. Level one is cool. Oh, I told you it was permanent. Oh. Oh, That's one. Huge. We just double attack Fizz, right? Yeah, you slap that. You don't care. Right? You slap that. Yeah. You quick attack. You or you just bump, you pump it with the plus one, and then you have might to play around the. Uh, quicksand. He has to have double quicksand, which is like very in his range. He hasn't playing any. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, double quicksand and like vengeance, right? Like these are things that are definitely uh, very likely. Yeah. Luckily for us, um, so vengeance, vengeance doesn't work on this because we'll have enough mana to, to double attack might and play uh, the the front side of knocking. Wait, wait, really? Why doesn't it work on? Oh. So we're gonna give that overwhelm. Is this even better into quicksand? Isn't this 
the same into quicksand? What are we playing around? It's 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 giving us it's giving ourselves three targets, but Fizz isn't. Yeah, Fizz isn't representing Fizz. lethal on his own. So like, what's the point? That's the vengeance. So we know he has vengeance. Wait, I'm so confused. Fizz isn't representing lethal, right? No, no, he's not. Then what's Fizz, the point so of splitting it? I mean, I would have not split it. But. Okay. Uh, yeah, we just give it overwhelm. We put plus one on Fizz. Yeah. Yeah, Fizz is one well, off Fizz, of lethal. Yeah, while well, Fizz is lethal, he's, he's close enough that it gives us Pokey out, which is like... Good. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're, we're assuming that his hand is very trick heavy. How he's been playing is his hand is very trick heavy. Yeah. Vengeance. They're dead, because so they have to commit something more than vengeance here. Yeah. Maybe it's outro. Maybe it's outro. Plus quicksand. We just kill him. Are we beating vengeance quicksand? Yeah. It, I think it, it has to be vengeance quicksand. It's the only way you, you actually win. God. I don't know if that actually... Yeah, Are, that, uh, aren't we beating double... Vengeance Quicksand if we just slap the double attack yeah. on Fizz? Uh, I think we're beating Vengeance Quicksand here. No, I think we're dead to Vengeance Quicksand. If he if they pre-commit both, you just might whatever they did in Vengeance. Oh, do they have to pre-commit both? Vengeance, uh, 12, yeah, minus vengeance 6. They no, because they can block with... Quicksand. They can block with Hydra Vine. And, uh... Oh, like, if they blocked Riven with Hydra Vine and then Vengeance the 5-3, then, um, then we're not beating it. Oh, Riven doubles her shit. Never mind. We, we're beating everything. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I okay. take it back. Yeah, it was, it was double quicksander bust. Holy shit. Okay, that's good. That's really good. I get that. Yeah, nah, no, I mean, any W is a W, right? What are Milk's other decks? Other decks are Ari Bard or Azir Relia. Do we know which one was banned? We do not. We don't know banned. Okay, that's fine. So, I mean, Azir Relia is like... Oh, Ari Bard. Okay. Did, did, did we run... If I remember right, this deck runs five homecomings. <laughs> runs what? We run five homecomings. Uh, yeah, we run double Ionian Telestone, triple Hoko, double Deny. They only run one Spell Shield Girl. Yeah, so it's like really hard as long as you basically need. Okay, we have this is a really good hand if we draw anything that is worth putting gloves on. Yeah, agreed. That's okay. There we go. We're good. That's so, like, worth my understanding of this deck from what I've seen is you basically just play out like a bunch of different 4 4 elusives and just hope that gets you there. Is that right? Yeah, while using like Ari stuff to, to like play bounce house. Yeah. Oh, on Ari? Ari does. Ooh, unlucky. That's, I mean, that's not bad. It's going to be one chip damage every turn. Yeah. I mean, if we Ari right here, bounce bird, then we can play bird plus uh, Esmus next turn. <laughs> yeah, so the question becomes, do you want to go... I think that route's better, because we're we're basically saying we don't care about the Arias as much, and I think you don't care about Arias as much in this specific matchup. Um... Yeah, I mean, Ari's good, but, like, I think using her is just, like essentially a, a recurring buff is like kind of cool yeah, plus now our attack here is really awkward into like rock hopper like it feels like this line's a lot worse into a lot of things into any development yeah I can see that. but this is fine we got our four damage yeah, in we have a buff all right all right nice nice so we probably bounce so bird we... here right yeah bounce bird play bird we could also just hoko right here and just oh never mind we tapped that's fine. I, I just realized that we would have had to bank last turn to play Hoko. But yeah, this is cute. We just keep playing it over and over. This yeah, I also don't think we have to... We don't have to Hoko right away. Like, we, we, you can kind of Hoko after they play. Because if you Hoko at any point, they have to, like, wait another, like, right... Like, if you hoko right now, they'd have to wait another, like, three turns. So they're not flipping until turn 11. Yeah, the Warriors going to be playing around deny, right? Yeah, this is true. Fine, if they fucking deny, like, that seems great. Yeah, a deny when it's like a... 
it, like here here's the question okay so our Ari is what a three or four you play Ari she's a four four play that Ari uh I, I would open he's, honestly he's concerned about the uh, three mana spell but three mana spell is not good for that people like they're gonna deny a draw uh I, I I think open attack here because they have to play a card okay well we don't have to do that that's cool too and then like you know we're representing homecoming so they have to worry about that the whole time right mm -hmm. and if they trade down the two one then like their deny suddenly has to eat a mana gem unless they develop another unit which again it, ju it just seems like very good for us yeah holding mana is good but that's fine I, this attack's great too right like we're pushing a ton of damage it's rough into quicksand uh, true, but I mean, I, I like to develop here just to play around that. Because then, you know, we just go wide if we want to play around quicksand. So now you just hold on. Yeah, now we just hold on to them. But, like, while they're holding up quicksand mana, if they, like, quicksand and block the elusives, then the two ones get through, which seems really strong. Yeah, no, it is. Oh god, I just looked at chat. I shouldn't have looked at chat. <laughs> uh, that's be no right of calling, here. right? Yep. You don't even have to know. If you write a call, you literally just have, you hoko your response. We hoko the, the sun disc, right? That you'd have to think about. It could be a hoko on Zerith, but I think it's on sun disc. Yeah, I think we're just, like, super winning. <laughs> they told us last yeah, turn yeah. that they don't have quicksand, right? So, like, I think we're just vibing. Yeah, you pass here. Steady now. We're basically telling them that we have homecoming. Yeah, he has to hold up the diamond. And, yeah, we just hook over response. You hook over the sun yeah. And that, uh, that, okay, so they passed. Interesting. That's fine for us. Um, we can get Ari down here. I like developing Ari. I like it a lot. Like, you lose Bird, which, you know, whatever. But... You actually don't lose Bird, because it's going to ping oh, you Esmus. don't lose Bird. <laughs> yeah. Our Esmus is, like, tanking him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, and then we probably bounce Esmus, right? Um... Okay, I mean, I like showing. I like showing lethal this turn, but this is fine too. Because Ari literally shows lethal, so I just. I don't know. We're playing really safe, I wonder why. Like, I, I guess we're representing double homecoming? Yeah, we have double hook right now, and basically saying, like, tap out. We're also kind of saying, like, I'm not popping your landmarks for you, so figure out a way to pop your own. Yeah. Which, I, I don't know, that's probably fine. Because, like, we don't have to win the game right here. I would have liked to win the game right here, but we don't have to. Yeah, I think I think what he's doing is saying, I'm not popping your landmarks for you. Uh, figure yeah. Figure out a way to pop them on. Yeah, no, I mean, playing, like, not giving them the Zerith flip is, like, I think it makes a lot of sense, right? Because if they aren't flipping Zerith, then they are never winning this game. And if we make them proactively burst out, or, like, break their landmarks, that's really good, especially since we have, like, the Nopify. So we're shopping, like, a right of the Arcane. I think Yehoko here. Because he can't double deny you. Agreed. We do it from Bird, right? Yeah, Yehoko a Bird. I would have really liked Hoko there. Okay, please Hoko now. Okay, but what uh, if we Giga Chad just pass six mana? What about that? <laughs> I don't I don't like passing that much. Okay, our, our Ari's massive. <laughs> yeah, Ari's Ari's thick right now. Okay, so you can I like to like nope this one. Yeah. Yeah, I think nope here's saying, straight. Because we're denying them from else. bursting it, right? Or from breaking it. Yep. And you, you can pass it out here. I actually, look, I'm fine with this pass. 
Yeah, at, at this point, like, we're just applying enough pressure. I'm down to deny that. Fuck it. Yeah, you de deny this one. Yeah, like, that's killing a Zerith. I understand the thought to Hoko here. I would 100% be denying this. No, that's the worst option. It's Denier Hoko. I think, I think it's, it might, mm, it depends if you want to bait Denier. You could Hoko to bait Denier, but I, I think Denier's fine. Um, yeah, I, I think it's, I think it's just Denier. I think it's just deny. You're killing the Azir. You force out a deny if they have it, and then you just Hoko after that and just, like, you could even Hoko the landmark. You could Hoko the sarcophagus. Yep, so now we Hoko. The question is, what do we Hoko? And I think I think there's both options are fine. Honestly, I would Hoko from Bird on the sarcophagus, and then, like, we're showing double open lethal. Yeah, true. That's actually really solid. Yeah. It's definitely yeah. Hoko. What are we Hoko? The other thing is that, like, if we don't... Like, I, I would Hoko Sarcophagus. I would never in a million years think to Hoko Zareth. Um, it's probably just that I've never played this deck before, right? I've literally never played Ari Bard. So, like, maybe... I mean, the, the good news is we get first action. So, like, you block the 2-2 two -two here. You play Ari, like, first action, before they play Zera. And then, okay, and... so I, I, my bet is that we don't want to uh, kick the Sun Disc before they use one of their tickdowns on it, right? Like, one of their champion tickdowns. Like, that's the idea. And Twin's great. Twin's really great. Twin's an so insane Ari... backup. So we can fun. Ari here, plus uh, Shadow, plus Twin. The really cool thing about Ari is even if she gets quicksanded, as long as she survives the first hit, she'll still swap over, right? So it's she's actually so really big. important. <laughs> she's so big. Yeah, she's fucking huge. <laughs> so like quicksand is isn't saving them. Why is she a six <laughs> <laughs> She's big as fuck, dude. One. So Okay, so we, we don't want to swing here, because quicksand does actually do nothing. Does it? What's up? Does quicksand save quicksand. them? Yeah. Um. You you. I guess that doesn't matter. So no, I think they're just dead. Cause like, okay, so if what they, do you have to do? You have to quicksand the two elusives. You have to block Ari and block the thing next to it. No, I think they're just always dead here. Yeah, they're just, they're just dead. They're just always dead. Yay! All right, cool. I mean, that right. was that was easy. Wait, that was 2 0, right? That was 2 0. Yeah, the, I mean, his, his lineup slapped his uh, slap these combo guys. Fucking free, bro. Actually, free. Yeah, that's great. That's really good. Alright, so now we, we're, we're not going to say who we're planning to play into, but we're planning to play that person. Okay. So. Let me see. That's We're not waiting for Milk to pop, pop back in. And then I'm guessing BKB is going to tell, tell them uh, who, their, uh, who their next pick is. Yeah. So that's 1-1. One, one. They have either Renrag or Red Kulo, uh, who's Lysergic yeah. Acid. It seems likely that they'll throw Renrag out, right? All right. Game number one. It looks like we were playing Ari Bard against Fizz Lulu. Now, when we were talking about this matchup, it feels like it's fine for Ari Bard because Ari Bard has the Nye um, for the Yordlin Arms um, and should be getting bigger units. Uh, Lulu Chompers is rough for almost any deck to deal with, so it'll be hard to see, and we don't really have interaction for Lulu. But I think if we're able to make it through the first few turns, I think we should be in a pretty solid spot. This hand's not great. Um, I assume we're kicking Bard and Conspirator. We really want, like, the Bard followers, I think. That sounds really good to me. I'll have to see. Dope. Hey. Hey, let's go. This is, yeah, this is a solid man. Yo, I'm already a genius. I called everything so far. You're welcome. Uh, given that we're on turn one. <laughs> if we hit a chime onto Ari right here, 
It's actually so insane. Ari? Oh. Do we ever just pass here? No, it's probably not. Oh, pass. like be able to. Um. Because like, if they tap a mystic, then like Ari comes down, and then we can, you know, bounce bird. We can bounce. Yeah. But maybe we but want Ari to get the the buffs, right? But I don't know. Yeah, I don't know this deck. I haven't thought, I haven't thought through. Like when I was playing it on ladder, I didn't think through lines long enough to like think about optimizing buff, like buff. <laughs> Buff placement, it was literally like, I just want to see if this deck is something that I'm okay with people bringing. I mean, that's, that's base as hell, bro. When I played this deck, I didn't give a fuck, so I don't know. <laughs> it was literally like, wait, what? Why? What? What? Bro, uh, that play, like, screams Lulu, right? I'm not blocking there. I guess? Dude. Fuck this mourned. Hey. Dude, I told you, I could see the future. This is gonna suck. There's no way this doesn't suck. Uh, this turn for us? Agreed. No palm <laughs> here. Like, palm would be really good, huh? Palm would be pretty solid. I don't yeah. think we run palm. We, we do not run palm. What if we did? What if instead of, like, double telestones, we ran, like, a palm? This... Wait. Oh, okay. no chompers. Wait. Oh, we're fucking. They gave us Lulu? You, yeah, you trade there. You, you say goodbye, Lulu. Wait a minute. I'd probably consider recalling Bird there. Would that be crazy? Um, I don't hate this. Because, like, what you're saying here is I want you to... Yeah, this is good, too. This is good, too. So we're obviously going to end up twinning through whatever they throw at Ari here. Oh, they threw nothing. That's fine. I'm yeah. happy to push forward. That's great. That's great. That's what's fine. Um, hopefully we draw a unit, because I don't think it can hit champion spells, which is kind of a bummer. Mm. Why isn't our deck doing anything? Uh, this is why we added units to an Enamor's version, because sometimes you don't draw units, that just happens. Well, we have a lot of units. We just didn't hit any of the elusive ones. Yeah, we definitely need an elusive unit. Shining would be nice as well. Like, do we actually have to pass here? Okay. Okay, sure. Oh, we're so fucked. Holy shit, we're taking a million damage right here. We're taking 10, right? Uh, one in six plus. We're either taking 10 or we're taking six plus whatever attack this thing has. They, we, we should take 10. I think it's at least 10 here. I think it's at least 10. I don't think it can be more than 10. If they hit the four attack, quick attack Noxus, then we take one more. We take 11. Four attack. Oh, I'm sorry. It would actually be five attack. Yeah, no, we're taking 11 here because of the captain buff. I forgot. Because uh, yeah, right. we're just buffing oh, up a boon. So Damn, this game got <laughs> cringe fast. Holy yeah. shit. Uh, do we recall bird here? And then play bird? And then like... And then pray? Yeah, I, I think praying is on the table at this point. <laughs> yeah. That was unlucky. Okay. Mm. okay. Those are cards. Those certainly are cards, which is better than what we've had so far. I think I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say we're kind of in trouble. If I had to guess. Do we... We could say they don't have cards, which might be what we have to do. And, like, at least kill Lulu with a second Ari. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I don't hate that. I, 
thought that we didn't have a way to interact, but you're right, Lulu or Ari spell does give us a way to interact. Yeah, like you could you could second Ari here and then on Bard to pull and then like play Bard after the attack. I mean bird. Bird. Yeah. Yeah. Same same thing. No, I think it makes a lot of Maybe. sense. It's kinda of bad into like No, it's fine. It's actually fine. I think it's good. Let's do it. Fuck yeah, it. Yeah, I think it's a good line. I mean, it's not like, <laughs> good line's a fun word. It's, it's a, a it's great a line. <laughs> I think it's the line we got. <laughs> well, okay, so we could also go after Captain if we really wanted to. I don't know if Captain's weird. Well, so here's my big issue. We don't have a way to put damage over... I think we're killing Fizz here. I think it's a Fizz kill. Um, hello? Break this ordering down for me. What, uh, what's going on here? Professional caster, let me know. Can you hear your heartbeat? Wait, is Ari flipping? Oh, Ari's flipping. Oh, okay. Wait, this is actually so good then. I think we probably still wanted to go for the recall play because what we could have done is we recall bird and then bird is zero mana so we can replay bird out right and like we get the pull either way it feels like we definitely should have went for that um it definitely feels like we should have went for that we could have held up twin as well but it's it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine chat it's fine so I just went to get coffee. I'm assuming we're winning, right? Uh, so Ari's flipping here, which even more so makes me think that we should have used Ari's spell here to eat something, because we could have eaten, or we could have pulled bird, and then replayed bird for zero mana. Mm. But I mean, that's probably something you only know exists if you uh, have played a lot of Ari, right? I don't know if Milk was an Ari Ken player or not. I just mean that, yeah, like, uh, the one that recalls does get discounted. Like, the sixth recall yeah, yeah. gets discounted. Does that still happen with the play cast reach? Um, I would assume yes. Because she would flip on... I have no fucking idea. Yeah. I well, we could check the eye. Still... When we check the eye, it's zero mana, so yes. But it's not a spell. Oh, I see. Uh, I'd have to. That, it's not a spell. It's just, that's, what, that's what the play has to Yeah, but I don't think it's changing anything. I think it's. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. Neither do I. That's the problem. Okay. So, we get to play cards, which is nice. Yeah, we get to empty our hand. Um, and then hopefully we draw a unit. Keck W. <laughs> if we don't draw a reunit here, oh, dude, I'm gonna be so sad. We we do have Hoko, which is a card that is useful in this type of position. True, 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 true. Agreed. Factual. What is this? A pokey stick? They're deciding if they want to use. It could be. It could be Mystic that he's thinking like they want to play it while they're below the time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we just lost four times. Oh. That's so sad. The good news is we have a lot of homecomings. We have a lot of what? <laughs> uh, uh, homecomings. A lot of homecomings. True, true. That is actual factual. And, like, we that did a lot of damage high. last turn, right? Like, opponents down to seven. Which is definitely important. That's definitely important. The issue, though, that we're looking at here is that... uh. We need to survive through this turn. And even on open attack, it's hard to see how we're surviving through this turn. Well, on open attack, we don't take any damage. Uh, true, but then we die to burn. We have a deny. We have a... a oh, we're so oh, we're fucked. <laughs> 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 Holy shit, we're fucked. <laughs> um... So we're currently on the double hook, and we take two. Yeah. And they have to have nothing. Yeah. Which is is absolutely they have nothing. If they your arms here, we can and we deny we can still survive at one. 
Nobert, <laughs> and they have to have Nobert uh -huh. with the Night Ears. And then we have Hoko. Mm -hmm. And we have Healthbot, actually. We beat Burn. Uh. Wait, aren't we dead? How are we not dead? We, we Hoko. So you, you block Fizz. Uh huh. Oh, wait, we are dead. Well, we're not. Are we dead? I, don't I think we have to pre commit the Telstone. Okay, well, let me actually do math, okay? Let's block a couple four attacks. Block, 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 recall, we're dead. Block, 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 recall. Yeah, we're dead. So we have to pre commit Telstones. And then we die to burn. Yeah, we're dead to literally any burn. We also can't save our Ari. Well, I guess, okay, we could actually go to one and save Ari, right? So we Hoko, like. I what? guess we're good. The elusive. We're saying they don't have burn, so you Hoko the elusive. Well, okay, so if we Hoko Captain, we're only at neg one. Which means, okay, but we, we probably have to Hoko Captain to play around like Pokey Stick, right? Yeah, you Hoko Captain. Well, like, Hoko if we Captain lose a and too, Telstone. So if they, if they, if they Pokey Stick are, we just lose the game. They what? If they Pokey Ari. I guess we have second Ari. Yeah, we have second Ari. We've been saving second Ari this whole time, so it's it's our time. Yeah, we have to pre-commit right, the you, health pod. You don't have burn. It doesn't it doesn't exist in your hand. Yeah, you we're never burn, beating Mystic have... Shot literally ever anyway, right? If you don't have burn and you don't have your it does not exist. Literally nothing here. It's what, six, seven outs is what they have? Yeah, even if we blocked one more damage to go up to three, we're still losing to Mystic Shot because they'll fizzle our Hoko. So yeah, this just like has to be the right line. Plus now we have another Yo. Elusive that's getting the buffs. This could also be like a slow roll burn spell, by the way. Yeah, yeah, the question is, do they slow? They slow roll. Yeah. It's oh, no, it's oh, Pokey. No, no, okay. Dope. Okay. Okay. Not dead yet. Yo, yo. What's our top deck? I mean, uh, we're, we're really excited, but I don't you know why we're really excited. We're still very dead. Well, okay, okay. So we play Esmus. Bounce Esmus. Play Esmus. We're putting them at one. Right? Playing them at one. Um. We don't run any burn. I think they didn't draw burn. They didn't draw burn. That I'm gonna. Was, that was top deck. I I hear you. I hear you. Trust me, I hear you. But I think we might be dead. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh huh. What if, if we, we had um... droplet? If we had droplet, we could have won. I think. Yes, we could still re spell here. But the issue is, we don't have like a ground unit to pull an elusive to the side with, right? <laughs> oh, no. I was thinking we could bird buff Ari, but that doesn't do anything. Well, actually, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. We bird buff Ari. We pull something to bird with Ari, and then we twin on Ari. Wait, we had lethal. Did we have lethal? We wait, had lethal. We had lethal. No, no, because to recall, uh, we have to replay it. We tap out. We tap out a twin. Because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, uh, it still costs mana. Fuck. Okay, well. That's fine. Wait, what is. What is I mean, we might nerf? defensive. Bro, twin? Twin, twin nerf. Why did you have to get the twin nerf? <laughs> Fucking twin nerf. This is why I was saying we need to change twin. We need to revert twin. <laughs> <laughs> What is? Oh wait, we're okay. We're. Hmm. Uh, hmm. So we're trying to save Ari, right? That's we're saving Ari, so that we can replay. As. Yeah, I don't fucking know to be honest with you. I don't know. What our plan is. So we're currently, we don't have out. Yeah. Like, even if we're hitting, like, Hoko off the top, we're still dead, right? Um. So we can't even play both of these. Okay, here's our out. Play... Are you ready? Our out. Opponent forgets. <laughs> he, he just slow rolled us so long. Wait a minute. <laughs> Back to the 
They top decked bomber twins. They did. They they had that in their hand. They for whatever reason at zero mana didn't cast it. We were tapped out last turn. What a prick! Can we get can we get a ban for that? Hello? Hello? Okay, okay, moving on. Wait, that was the matchup that we were all kind of like, oh, there's no shot. This is the matchup that we're kind of like, okay, there's a shot. Um, I mean, these are good cards. I don't know if they're good enough cards. Ionian tells them it's not. That came from the right side of the hand, right? I. Yeah, yeah, no, he had that in his hand, 100%. That was there from last turn. We were tapped out on the last turn. We were. We were also dead to them shooting the unit to fizzle the Hoko. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yes, we were. They just straight. Okay. You know what? Uh, <clears throat> okay. We're. <laughs> we have Droplet this time. We have multiple elusives, which is always nice, right? Very excited to see elusives. Horror Cannon's really bad for us, but they don't have it. That's really good. That's nice. We love to see it. It's fucking crazy. They don't run four again. Know that they slow rolled that lethal. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you um do you recall here? Nah, no, nah, fuck it. We're drawing a card off of uh, Shadow Assassin. We're saving our recalls for Droplet. I think we have enough draw that we don't need to save Bird. Oh. oh okay, this shot. <laughs> That's a, a big girl right there. So you, you, I, and on top of that, like, and we got okay, it's cool. So we got if we if we okay. get, get excited, then we can do it again. Playing this into get excited is really sad, actually. Like if I they have get excited here, right? It depends. Like you just like you recall it, and then you have bird a second bird to like do the same play again. I guess, yeah. And that's three burn not going to face. It just like slows us down tempo wise, which yeah, I'm not a fan of. But, but it does the same to them, right? Like uh, they're playing a get excited. No, because they get to develop out chompers. Like well, I don't know. That's okay, probably yeah. fine. Uh, we definitely get bird down here. We are yeah, tapping below our five mana Hoko, but like we have recalls, so I think we're fine. Yeah, this trades like so they basically have to. Uh, they sh they should play chomper and pull bird. Yeah, Chomper Pull Bird seems like the right play, right? They Axe Draven, Chomper Pull Bird, and then we have to, like... This is so interesting. Because it feels like I we should have taken three damage this turn. I, I don't hate baiting or getting the Mystic Shot out. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Uh, I like... Because we're drawing a card off this, right? So this is, like, totally fine. Yeah, yeah, no. I think this is... Definitely fine. The question is, do we use recall or twin? And I think we recall. Yeah, yeah you, want, you want twin for like equal plays. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we, we save twin for that. protection later on. Um, oh, or not, or not. Okay, okay. so the okay. reason to keep recall would be that it represents another draw a little bit later on, right? Which is really good I for us. I can see that. And I hope goes three. It's, the, the, the play cast thing sucks here because we, uh, we draw all the time. Yeah, it's a bummer, it's a bummer. That's okay, we're gonna draw another chime right here, so it's fine. Okay, well, we were going to recall this droplet anyway, so we, it, we didn't want to buff on it anyway. <laughs> um, the nope's decent. It, like, lets us play around and get excited for the rest of the game. Yeah, nopeify is great. Nopeify is great. Yep, so we just push another five. This is looking good. Like, we have Hulk for the Draven. Yeah, we he's just keep chipping in. A, he's playing a control, like, a, he's playing this like a control deck on a tempo deck. There, this is an instance where having twin would be really nice over this recall. Because, like, if they get excited, our girl, we nopify it. I guess they're tapped out of actually being able to throw two spells at her. Yeah, this is a nope. Yeah. I was just thinking trying to survive through burn, but, like, they can't second get excited here. So, yeah, we're just vibing. The nopify was a great draw. Very happy with no fun. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so opponent is pressuring a little bit of damage here, right? Now they pull bird. Their uh, fearsome can get in unless we give them our shadow assassin. Okay. Not quite lethal. Now, we might just like recall our, our droplet here. Like put droplet in front of four three and recall. 
Yeah, no, I think we're definitely looking to cycle here. Taking seven isn't that bad because they don't run like decimate. Okay, well now we're taking a lot of damage. Those Hokos. Uh, agreed. Yeah, no, I think Hokos seems really good. We Hoko like droplet. droplet in front of Draven and recall. I would put Hoko in front of the four three or put Droplet in front of the four three. Because I want to recall either Draven with I want to recall Draven. So I would recall Risen Rider here. That way they don't get an axe and they don't get to draw again. I can I can see get like the argument for that. I can't remember all the mana versus three, but I can see the I don't think giving them an axe matters. Yeah. I and mean, I don't I don't think the like the axe is discard potter, right? Um, I hate this. Taking eleven here. Okay, so we might be baiting like a burn spell. Right? True. And the good news is like he's already used two burns. So the odds of him being able to burn us from nine are actually really low. Okay. okay, so now we can so we, Hoko. Hoko the 4 2? Uh, I, either one. I I, I don't want to. Wow. We really want to take 11 this turn. Yeah, I like the Hoko more. You like, we really want to take 11 here. Alright, I mean. <laughs> He's just better than us. We just He's ten just head great. were playing around it, dude. Holy shit. I mean, it <laughs> would have been... Better. Like, the other sequencing would have done the exact same thing, by the way. Because we would have just denied Mystic Shot. But, hey, you know what? We all played the we, fuck out oh, of him. And our, and our droplet's lethal! This is lethal! That's a big-ass droplet. <laughs> this is lethal! That's a, a big-ass droplet. Maybe we suck at playing the stack. Like, that might be it. And we got another bird for, like, if we need it. Oh, dude, this is actually really, really good. As long as you don't have, um... We're basically saying you don't have some stun spiders or another burn spell. Yeah. It's a bird that Stand Unite's seven mana. Because, like, Stand Unite on a stun spider would be really funny here. Oh, true. That would be funny. I just want to see Stand Unite win us a game. So this is lethal. Do you have? Okay, so he's, he's digging. What did he for? Okay. Hold don't care. You just swing. You don't swing with the bird because you don't want to hold. Obviously. Yo. Nice. Easy okay. clap. Ooh. Easy fucking clap. Hell yeah. That was huge. Looking was back, big. I think that like recall first makes a lot of sense. Because you assume that they're gonna have something, right? I think it makes a lot of sense. I, I don't know if I would have assumed they had something when they already played two things, but clearly they did. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's fine. I think it's totally fine. I mean, it was, it was, it clearly was a real, like, he just straight, like, outsmarted him. I, cool. Easy right. clock? Azir Aurelia. Okay, Azir Aurelia. So, if this is a slow hand out of Cyan, I think we're fine. Like, if we can set up, um, in kind of, like, um... Like, a Defiant Dance on, like, four or five as a tempo play is gonna be really nice for us. Um... The worry's gonna be like between now and then, like surviving and setting up combo, right? So we have the survival hand. We don't have the combo. Yeah, we need to be drawing into you know the half of our deck that does something, right? Something to uh, get value off of our blade dances. By the way, chat pointed out that uh, if we remember, our boy. Um, Renrag did end up drawing a, uh, and did end up using Pokey in that one turn, right? Oh, so he might have gotten off the... the yeah, they might have gotten Gettix off the Pokey, which makes a lot of sense. Okay, we're not going to flame Renrag. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean... <laughs> no, we definitely won't. Uh, Dunekeeper here, yeah? Good. Yeah, like, we just... Day DC. Uh, milk? Hello? Dog money? Okay, okay, okay. Whew. We were just, we were downing the other, the, the eighth, uh, the eighth monster. <laughs> yeah, no, I was... <laughs> okay, so, I mean, we took a little bit of extra damage, but decided that, like, having the, uh, Sand Soldier later on is gonna be more important, which is fine. 
drawing to Azir is great because they don't have like yeah. easy answers to Azir like at any point in this game. Uh, they do have flop, and they're dead. That's a lot. Of they have one up, but we have twin. At any point. <laughs> No, I, I feel like I feel like we're pretty good. We do have a lot of combo hands. Do we play our big five two here? Um, five two's not bad because it stops the attack from the like we take zero damage this turn. We get a zero down, and then we can like blade dance the next turn. Yeah, I like five two a lot. Yeah, yeah I like, think it makes yeah, a lot of stops. sense. I think it makes a lot of sense. Because we need to start putting pressure on the next turn. Yeah. Which would be another reason, though, that, like, Treasure Seeker on 1 was better than Dune Keeper. Like, having, being able to bank the mana, I think, makes a lot of sense. <laughs> okay, like fuck it, bro. We're vibing. We're, we're racing. That's what we're doing. I assume we we're giving up. Offensive gear. I don't like that. Uh... uh. Uh, uh uh. I we're really saying you don't have flock. We're really we're saying, saying you don't have flock. flock, and we're inviting him to play burn spells on our. Well, I mean, okay, but like burn spells going at not face is never that bad, right? I agree. With what I'm saying, right? Especially since we just went down to thirteen. Okay, we got Aurelia. Aurelia is oh, nice. I don't know if we even play Aurelia here. Yeah. Because we have to hold up twin for the rest of the game, right? Yes, we do. So I think, like, Irelia is not doing that much here. It's a pass. Um, I think we're attacking here. Oh. I might have wanted to hold on to that, but this is fine. This is fine. I mean, we're pretty wide. Swing. We're applying a lot of pressure. Yeah, he you do get to swing all of here. That's kind of nice. Like, not with the zero, obviously, but with everything else. Okay, I hear you, but, like, what if we did, though, you know? I guess they were playing around cool. Defiant Dance? I guess. Uh, yeah, you probably do swing all of here. You just say, like... Uh, no, I don't I don't think you swing with the zero. <laughs> uh, no, 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 not the zero. When I say swing oh, okay, all, okay. I, I will never... I will never say a zero swings the rest of the game. Sorry, it was it was like, coming cool. off the back of me saying, but like, what if? You know, so I, was just, I wasn't sure. Yeah. I'm, okay, so like next turn, we're taking a little bit of damage again, right? So like if there is a burn heavy hand, we could be in trouble here, right? Like this open attack's a little bit scary. We have a massive development oh, punch. That's a huge draw. That is a huge Yeah, stage hand is really sick for us. Oh, that's massive. Please stage hand open. means we win next turn, by the way. Yeah, because we can play stage hand plus Aurelia. Yeah, so we just have to survive through this turn, which we have Dunekeeper plus uh, Waking Sands, right? That draw is insane. Wait, you, wait you're thinking stage hand offensive? Uh, I would love to offensive stage hand. Interesting. Because, like, with offensive okay. stage hand, uh, if we, like, triple blade dance next turn, um, they're just fucking dead. Right, like getting rid of a blocker is like so huge. Okay, so here, oh goodness. How much is, can he push? He can push, he's pushing four, so, okay. I mean, he's showing five damage, right? Okay. Offensive. Oh, this okay, is great. I, I'm, You're stage handing? Wait, wait yeah, I, I'm a big fan of stage. Why are we blocking? Yeah, that stun makes no sense. You should be stunning something we actually want to block with. I'm fine with either Dune Keeper or Stage Hand, actually. I'd go Dune Keeper here and then, like, just be priced into offensive twinning to uh, kill their uh, Fearsome. Yeah, I think that's fine. I, I think I would be, like, super fine with that. Stage Hand also, like, completely shuts down this play, um, which is also, like, great. Um, unless they have Baboon, but, you know. You Stage Hand Draven, right? And then you have a blocker for everything? Yeah, if, if you are. If you are doing it, then yeah. I would just Dune Keeper. Because, yeah, yeah, like, if we Dune Keeper here, we can also play down Irelia. Which means, like, dude, our next turn's so fucking insane. We can play Irelia either way. Like, Irelia's fine. It's going down. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're playing it safe. We're yeah, deciding that if we don't take damage this turn, we're just winning, right? Yeah, I don't mind that. The, the one downside of that play is that we don't have a way to deal with Scion. 
So if we don't win next turn, it <laughs> comes down to the draw. Uh huh. Yeah, I, I hear you. I hear you. But what if we just did? You know, what if we just won next turn? Okay. Yeah, no, I think it's actually really important because, like, if we aren't stopping their. Yeah, I just. Oh, okay, because, like, if we don't save Stagehand for an offensive turn, I don't know if we're, like, always killing them next turn now, right? Which worries me. Why did we play Aurelia? Oh, we should have played Aurelia. Because we're still holding up Twin, right? I mean, the zero's flipping here, which is nice. Yeah, and we're still, like, putting on a ton of pressure, right? Like, uh, buffed up Sand Soldiers, like, push a ton of damage. Yeah, we are pushing a ton of here. A lot, like, er and everything that blocks that is the other good thing. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's definitely, we're not in a bad spot, right? We're definitely in a really solid spot here. Flip his ear means that like only get excited and blocks uh, affect him now. No longer mystic shots. One two. Okay, so you want we want to open first, but it's not open first. Um. Great. Yeah. You want to swing to flip the early, right? You want to get swing with all the middle four. Is she flipping? That early. She is flipping. No, middle four swing. If it's just the middle four swing. So the issue is, if we twin here, then we're losing our Azir to something. Is that worth it? If we twin here, we're losing our Azir. Because, like, okay, so that we'd be priced into playing second twin. If we play second twin, then we can't Blade Dance. If we can't Blade Dance, we're definitely not killing them this turn. So, so what you do, you say, twin here. I think we say okay, and then play Shadow Apprentice. Yeah, I, like, I would have liked twin there. And then you're basically saying you have to get excited at, like, it on in response. Which and they would, right? They would. A lot of people, including myself, don't know how to play uh, Zerelia. Oh, Zerelia. okay, well... I mean, I would. Because <laughs> I think uh, that's the whole point of, of throwing a Get Excited at uh, Irelia, is so that you can throw a Get Excited at Zero when they use their protection spell. I think that's the whole oh, point uh, of that play. I, I just get excited at Irelia, and I really flip them. Yeah, so Okay, there you, you were right. I was, I was wrong. You were right, I was wrong. Yeah. We definitely should have played Shadow Apprentice, though. Because, like, he's losing one attack here. Um, and, like, then they can't, in good conscience, just, like, chump with this, uh, with this Poro. Because if they do, they're taking a shitload of damage. I, I will say the fact that we, um, were able to not, like, we just wasted six turn means that we can actually deal with Slam next turn. As in, like, probably chump definitely not instantly lose the game. Uh, true, true. We aren't, like, literally losing the game. God, Shadow is, I, I wish we played Shadow. Or, is it Shadow Apprentice? It's Shadow Apprentice. Shadow Apprentice. I just don't think or, there's a reason not to. When you summon an ephemeral ally, give me plus one. Oh, he, I mean, he gets it anyway, which is swing. No, but he would have gotten the attack from the Sand Soldier, right? He, he's gonna get it anyway. Like, so. so he missed one attack. Oh, I see what you're saying. He gets it multiple times. I didn't realize it was a multiple times. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Attack. He's kind of like... Uh, always, he's I think like, he was baiting him to buff. He was baiting him to block him. Um, maybe. Because now the Poro has good block your elusive, and he was kind of baiting him to say like, "Hey, do you want to block?" This true, true. Yeah, maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. Because like it's showing lethal. Well, it's not showing lethal either way. So no, nah, I think it had to have been right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh. Whoa. Oh wait, we're saying we're saying we have lethal. Which we do, but. They don't have Mr. Kill. I guess we didn't have lethal would, without doing this. And they would have mystic shotted Aurelia. Agreed. Okay. And they could block one more damage here, but that's still not enough. Yeah, no, I think, I think this is. This, is, really is, this attacks, yep. right? Yes! Woo! Oh, that's huge. That is so huge. The boy wonder. God damn. Oh my Yeah. I mean, oh my easy fucking goodness. clap, bro. Easy fucking clap. It wasn't even close at any point. Oh, that was huge. That was, we, neither of us saw that line of, like, full skill. Neither of us saw that. that yeah, yeah. So I, I hadn't looked into doing the math at all. Like, Milk saw it. Milk was there on it. That Seeing was the so smart. Hell, yeah.
Because he, cause they would have missed Nick Dorelli. They told us they didn't have missed Nick Dorelli. Agreed. <laughs> I like oh, that it literally... I, I think on every single turn, I've like been like, I would have done a different play. But Milk's out here fucking winning it, bro. Yo, what's up, buddy? How you doing, so Milk? Good. Oh, bro! That was so Damn. good. Easy clap. Easy clap. <laughs> oh, God, yes, bro. I can't Holy even... Holy shit. Good I shit, dude. Arrive. Saw that last full swing. We were both like, whoa, we can't full swing. We can't flip our Azir. But until like, you actually put it up on it and show us Luke, like, wait a minute, they showed us they didn't have Fistic. This is just GG. Yes, fucking nuts, dude. Holy shit. Oh, that's so insane. Oh, 3 0 on the fucking way, dude. <laughs> dude 3 0 on the way. I, uh, monster, and let's get this. <laughs> oh my good. I, that is insane. I cannot even explain to you how insane that is. Alrighty. So we are looking at Azir Irelia, assumedly meaning that Ari Bard was banned? Uh, Ari and Fizz is like thought that they would ban. Wait, really? Okay. Yeah, the Ribbon, oh. Fizz, Ribbon Fizz beats all their decks. Oh. With, um, the, the, at least a deck beats one of our other decks. Okay. Sounds good. So, uh, this is uh, against Jace Heimerdinger. This feels like it should be an okay matchup. What do you think? As the Jace Heimerdinger uh, expert. If they... It is really hard to deal with if they get a, uh, a good board going. Like... If they get one protection spell off, you kind of just lose. Because you don't have a lot of ways to like actually threaten things. Yeah. It's just like and Mystic's Vials and then like big spells, right? Yeah, all your stuff costs six. So if they could like two mana and build you by like twinning you, you could go with like Vengeance. There's Vengeance card. Not Vengeance. Yeah, you like Shock Blast him or some shit? Shock it's just like... You just lose the game. Honestly. Yeah. Okay, so definitely something to keep an eye out for. We do have a Deus in hand, which anytime you're playing Azir Irelia, you're looking for either Deus or Azir himself. Any way to be getting that uh that Sand Soldier. Uh, Forge Chief's really fucking annoying, huh? Yeah, it's gonna get two, two hits on us. Yeah. Deus? Irelia is definitely the worst champion of the two in this matchup specifically because, like, Mystic Shot exists, right? Yeah, he's on three mystic. Yeah. Hmm. See, and this is an instance where like having deny for uh for production search would be really nice. Or at any point I think like deny actually like wins this game, doesn't it? Automatically. Not quite automatically, but it is okay, so they're on production search. Oh. My guess is the shock blast is what they want. Yeah, you just passed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah we couldn't care less. That is great for us. Here you have to think. Um. Okay, what if we pass? We just take another hit from. Yeah, the idea being that like if they play down Jace, um, then like we can bounce Jace. Um. I guess this isn't bad, right? Because even if they shoot Irelia right here, we can still blade dance, right? We have a lot of shit going mm -hmm. on. It's fine. It's fine. Well, if it isn't the man of tomorrow. Hey, back to work. If you don't want to be the lady. Yesterday. Lady of yesterday. Do you bounce Jace here? Oh, that's what I'm thinking. Through. It's kind and of really bad in a Jace. Mystic shot. It's like really bad. Yeah, it loses to Mystic. It loses to uh, Thermo. It has five things that just beat it. Yeah. Yeah, I think I like this and say like, hey, take uh, take four. Or give me a unit or let my Irelia attack. And there's the Mystic. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think that's fine. We trade for the Mystic Shot. The issue is that we are, like, really behind on tempo, right? We haven't found any of our one drops. We're definitely in trouble. Because, like, this uh, this Jace Heimerdinger deck, like, Loki is literally just a burn deck. Well, not the really. The open attack is great for us. What the heck? You're saying, like, if that's all that they're doing this turn, we're totally fine with them? Yeah, if he, it, the worst thing that could, that could happen for us is if they, like, I mean, we have the bouncy spell, so it's not the end of the world, but if they played, like, Heimerdinger, yeah. and just, like, said, like, you don't get to play a champion or a kill it. I would not be surprised if we saw Heimerdinger come down here. Neither would I. It's more just, like... The threat of the, champ, of the challenger, right? 
I care so much more about like that challenger. Hmm. It's a bar that just has only a one HP. Otherwise, like like losing to Vile Feast here means that we can never try and like ride of calling this. Or are we gonna eat a mana gem? Okay. Yeah, eat a mana gem here, I think. That's fine. It's like not ideal, but it's like as long as we don't draw Aurelia. I, it's it's Aurelia, super bad if we hit the twenty five percent chance to like draw third Aurelia. It's like unplayably bad, right? Yeah, we we lose the game fast, but we, we we didn't. So we're good. Okay, so if we play two mana guy, we one two three four. Oh, uh, it's so four attackers, yeah. It's four, so we flip her a zero right away. Uh, yeah, it summons five things. Um. And it's four attackers, so our Irelia uh, is flipping soon. This is good. This is Honestly, good. like, if they, like, Vengeance our Azir here, we're actually pretty happy with that. I mean, we're not happy, but, like, um, Irelia can come down and flip. The problem is they get, um, they get two success spells. Oh, wait, true. Wait, Forge is broken. Wait. I mean, that's fine. Yeah, it's definitely good for them. Like, they're definitely happy with this. Because it makes it so our, our attack is a little awkward. Yeah, Irelia doesn't flip unless we play out Irelia, then play her Blade Dance. So we'd have to, like, tap all the way down to flip her this turn. Which yeah, means that, like, like we're really bad to remove those. Yeah. That feels really bad for everything. Definitely an awkward position to be in. If you play one drop and swing, he's a 3-3, three, three, which doesn't feel great either. Uh, 4-3. But yeah, he's still sure. dying to the Forge Chief, so it doesn't really matter, right? I must the yeah, we're kind of just actually... saying fuck it. You have to have something. Yeah. Which isn't the end of the world. Like, Vengeance here on... I Thermo or Vengeance is a point. Because, so... like, okay, so we Blade Dance... We blade dance and we get three progress towards Irelia flip. And then we attack and get two more. We can't flip her this turn. I miscounted earlier. Yeah, we can't. Oh, it's because they killed all of our things. That's why we can't flip it. Wait, this is really bad, actually. And we can't swing with Irelia. Well, and we can if we're a Giga Chad. What, what is the game? What? <laughs> Just swing, bro. You can't, well, you're not bluffing anything. Uh, whale. Didn't think about that one, though, did you? You got me. Yeah. You, you, you kind of have to... Oh, uh, we're just dead to burn. I think you have to Hoko. I agree. Do you Hoko Jace to stop a doubled spell, or do you Hoko something else to, like, save health? I think you hook over the three one to save health. Because if you hook over Jace, they just replay Jace until the next. Like you don't have enough actions to kill him. Well, we'll just bounce him next turn, right? Oh, like the second they play him, that's what you're saying. Like first action, we bounce. Well, maybe that's not enough because like next turn, what if they bank, and they still have uh, eleven mana, so they can still do it. Yeah. No, no, no. If they, if they play, they go four, and then you bounce, and then they have to play four again. We're not gonna have enough mana to no, play. because like they'll they'll replay Jace this turn. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Okay, 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 so you're, you're right. Well, I was originally right. I yeah, no, you you're you're right. You're right. I don't uh, think it's this. Okay. I get it because six the difference like the functional difference between seven and nine is very small, or seven and eight is very small. But yeah, yeah this this happens. I'm so stupid. Well, and this doesn't like whatever they have right there doesn't matter right like if they're canceling our uh hoko then we're like we're always going to be in trouble yeah 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 no agree, agree. what is he waiting for so, so, uh, like, it could be glimpse that this could be glimpse okay i could see that maybe they were checking to see if glimpse fizzles it we pass here right to not give them the double shock blast or like if they do want a double shock blast this turn then they don't get a target for it yeah, probably. Also, it's just like one mana to seven mana, but 
Yeah. Issue's gonna be that, like, because we lost our gem. Oh. So there's the double shock blast. He's, confer he's making sure he has a double shock blast next turn. Okay. I mean, that means that this card right here, if it's Mystic Shot, not Glimpse, then we're dead, right? Well, uh, not. I mean, we're gonna recall him. I think we're gonna recall him first. First action recall. The issue with first action oh, yes. recall is that like Irelia doesn't get to blade dance, but yeah, I think stopping them from doubling it just like has to be better, right? Yeah, we lose the game on the spot because you play Irelia and Irelia. Agreed. No, you're right. You're right. As per usual. You're correct, Mr. Tux. Do we have flipped Irelia yet? Not yet. Uh, not yet. She needs this. So, like, on the switch, we flip. Yeah, it just means that she doesn't come down with three HP, so, like, double vial or uh, some mystics or something. It's, like, a little bit annoying. Shut up. Shut up. Yeah, they, they did kinda... Sorry, I was... I was, <laughs> I was quoting the, the unit. I wasn't oh. telling you to shut up. I wouldn't do that. Oh, we have to get Irelia down here, by the way, no matter what. Because, like, we aren't showing lethal right here. The only way that we're lethaling them is if next turn we use a uh, Blossoming Blade, right? So we have to have Irelia down, no matter what. And that, yeah, you full swing here, right? Um, yes. You full swing here, and then you're going to end up swapping something to its death. Because we could do this. We need the blade surge, right? I mean, blade surge happens either way. Uh, no, yeah, I guess we're pushing good. the same damage either way, right? We're just saving uh, the elusive as a blocker. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think that makes a lot of sense, actually. That makes perfect sense. I was thinking of the whole time, actually. Um, I was just testing you. And we, we, we do get open attack, or, like, basically, we, it's awkward. We, we're kind of hoping they misclick. Are we? Why is that? For the... Because if they kill Aurelia on first action, either by double shock blast or Jace pool. Oh, I see what you're off. saying. We're hoping that they give us an action. Yeah. Wow. True. So, is there a functional difference between dealing three and dealing four here? Oh, uh, I... Vile Feast. Yes. Valfeast yes, would is. mean that we're no longer showing lethal next turn. Oh, well, we'd have no reason to do that anyway. Sorry, I'm being silly. Yeah, we just swap and push the extra damage. Yeah, I'm you, being you silly. push damage. Yeah. I'm not being all that bright. Yeah, we're just not playing around cards. Like, we, we can't. We don't get the options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thermos also really bad here. Okay. Alright, so hopefully they don't first action. Yeah. Yep. Okay, okay, they're pro players. And then we can't kill them this way. Yeah, this game. Um. Oh, yeah, because uh, Albus Dumbledore is showing lethal, right? Yep. Yeah. You know, Dumbledore's showing four damage. That's crazy, actually. They just don't block. Easy. Yeah, if we if we <laughs> if we played this really slowly, they might DC. Okay, so what's our next matchup? Thralls. Uh, we are double favored for thralls, but but it is thralls. Yeah, yeah, but we are double favored. Easy clap. Never lost the thralls in our life, and we're not starting now. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. The hands were just awkward, right? And Jace is really good in that matchup. If we're not bouncing him like on site. Yeah, you have to tempo this. Yeah. Zero really is hard. Stage hand would have been nice at some point too, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, definitely. All right. Okay, so we're running back a zero really into thralls, so. Um, I'm probably kicking everything other than Deus, but like, Dune Keeper's not bad. It pushes damage early. It, it's like really nice if we 
like it's really nice in an Azir hand because it gives us something to attack with on turn three that's not Azir. True. Either way, though, like we're definitely kicking Irelian. We're kicking Stagehand, I think. Oh, well, Stagehand pushes a ton of damage on like turn five specifically. But I think yeah, but I trying like to find Azir is more important, right? Yeah, I think you gotta have to find Azir. Yeah, like if we redraw Stagehand, I think I'm really happy with it. The issue is just like getting to that point. Uh... Oh. Okay, cool. <laughs> Never punished? Never punished? We passed! <laughs> Wait. What are we. Maybe maybe we're trying to play Dune Keeper plus Stagehand this turn. Uh, maybe that's I'm, it. I'm just, uh, no, I don't think okay. so. Um, to, to be fair, I'm totally fine playing Azir here. Like... Yeah, but the issue is like we should have played Dune Keeper on one because like if they play down like Lissandra here, do we really want to swing into Lissandra? Yeah, yeah, you're fine to swing into Lissandra. Like, Two damage doesn't matter. If, if she has three attack, she has two. Okay. That's crazy the opponent hasn't played a card yet. I feel like pre-commit tavern keeper. Hmm, I guess isn't great. We need to get a Hoko, I think. Because you can't really play a really Oh, uh, and we're just passing. Yeah, you passed here. Ah. Holy fuck. Okay, so if we were going to play something this turn, I would have played Dune Keeper, and then I would have eaten it with, uh, right. Okay, Holy okay, fuck. we're fine. <laughs> they just don't have Ravine? Okay. They just don't have Ravine. Can they play Apple play one Apple? I mean, Ravine. okay, but we just stage hand here, and we just win the game. Yeah. I would prefer getting rid of their blocker before we play Dance, but... Yeah, like, Stagehand represents so much fucking damage here, actually. Hmm. Maybe we're wanting to hold up, uh, uh, Blade, the, the, the recall. Okay. So, <laughs> so we Stagehand the 3-5. Yeah. And then we play Dune. I mean, can we flip Aurelia? Uh, we we're attacking 6 wide. So, no, we're one off. We are one off. Is Blossoming... Oh, no, it's not like Stage Hand, right? Yeah, it's, it's Stage Hand plus one... Well, so Blossoming Blade uh, is four, and then they, we attack with... Right foot strike, right foot strike, wait, 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 wait. Four, and then we attack with one, two, three, four, five. We could have flipped Irelia if we wanted to. We might be holding stage hand after one Okay, we might be holding stage hand here to uh, like punish a potential like, develop into a flip throw. Yeah. This is, I mean, this is a really good swing. We're showing a lot of damage. Asleep. Wait, are they Asleep? just dead? Not, they're not dead. No, they're, they're, they block one. Yeah, they're at one. They're at one. And then we have, we have open action. Our first action is possibly. They might be able to first beat a double draw, but the, that doesn't matter because they can't kill us with double. So, by the way, as if we had we stunned before the first play, we would have had lethal. Yes, I, I would be there. That's, um, That's fine, though. Yeah. That's fine. So, okay, I mean, so Blade right Dance here, on open is lethal. Yes. The qu that we have an opportunity to misplay if they burst out two draws and then swing and we block because then they can, like, I guess with the twin draw stops them, it's played. But they could then, like, actually, no, they could. And then we're, like, in a really bad spot. I think we're just fine. I think we're just fine. Okay. This is, yep, so he gets two out. <laughs> okay, well, we have Do to commit blocks. Wow. I like a zero. I like a zero on three five. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. No. This is. I, I would. I would literally just zero on two. Like I wouldn't actually. Because you're killing them. 
Um, are we always? Yeah, we are. It's four wide, so yeah. We're just always coming. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter. Like, we don't lose anything. Like, do they even have spells for two mana? Like, it's just time to bottle, right? Uh, time to bottle, frontside three is still sisters. Yep. Yeah, this is this how is I would too. block, but, you know, I, I don't think it matters. I think we're just fine. It doesn't. We, we cannot. Uh, can we. You define dance to win? I think you can. I, we're winning with everything, homie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any. This works. Yeah. Dope. It also like, gives you first half. Um, like, I guess swing would do it too. Yeah, we have, like, so many ways to. It's, like, really hard to do. Yeah, I think opponent might be kind of dead here. Dope, 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 dope. Yo, I thought Thralls was OP, but hell no. Okay. So we win that one. That's good. And then I'm assuming it's Ari Blow. Yeah, it's... Well, I don't know. I mean, it, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. We'll have to see. Sure, they might want to prevent it to not be uh, over the top over. Invaders leave this place yeah. Never I mean, I think Fizz Riven beats this deck, by the way. I, at least whenever I've, I've played the matchup, I felt pretty solid into Thralls. Yeah, no, you're favored into the Thralls, but you're not the combo version. They might have, like, disrespected. Oh, true. But, like, I think that... Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, I would assume they're disrespecting. Like, yeah, Bardry you here. Deck that you, you, you respect a deck you've never seen. Okay, full bowl, nice. Uh, do we ever hold the Nye for the doubler? Probably not, no. Uh, I wouldn't. I would say you, you get some, I could see an argument, like, we hold the Nye, I'm not gonna play him, but... This is a mu I love this hand a lot. This well, we drew Bard. Hand. Bard's actually good in this matchup, right? Because, like, he flips quickly. In the stack? Uh, uh, he, he flips on if you play him. I guess he flips on sign in, right? Okay, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't like flipping. Okay, Ari? Uh, Ari? Ooh, oh. fucking bard. <laughs> and these nopes are dead. Ice shard, right? Uh, they, no one runs that card anymore. Yeah, but like they. Uh, off of Flip Lissandra. Okay, it's not dead. Wait, wait, okay, wait. Okay, I lied. This is a crazy hand still, I forgot. We get to play Ari into Bird, or into Bird. Into like yeah, Bird is Bird. insane, dude. Bird's a fucking nutty card. And we get, wait, and we get Bird into, flip Bird, or into Bird again. Yeah, quit, quit playing Bird, that's not fair. <laughs> it's definitely like not fair. Okay. Alright. Oh, nope. Oh my goodness. That's a big ass shadow assassin right there. <laughs> I mean, Avalanche is really sad for us, right? It's a, it's a one of. Oh, we don't play around one ofs in this dojo. I don't think. Yeah, you don't play around. The fact that they're not slamming it tells me they don't have it. Uh, no, they might be. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. They don't have it. Yeah, this you, this is an uh, like you're below twin, and I can kill your Ari and a two two. You're, yes, avalanche, please. Yeah, it's kind of cringe that we're elusive abusing here. Like, what the hell? I thought Milk was you know just a better person than that. The one thing I don't think we do is I don't think we play far until after the attack, just in case we need to like if they freeze our Ari. Agreed. Avalanche. If he's if he's slow no he's this is a four, this is a doubler crossing yeah. yeah uh we we are bouncing the two two here right I would think so yeah because you don't want to touch the assassin shadow assassin pushing too much damage yeah well so the other option would be just like not swing with Ari oh I'm fine yeah I'm fine bouncing this two two because like your next turn is gonna be uh like bounce the fuck okay. So bird is big. The reason, the reason you would do this is just to say like you don't get to block Ari. Yeah, and you push like two extra. Yeah, you push two extra damage. Like that's okay. Well, you know, it was a nice thought. Oh, we're still attacking with him. Oh, huh. it it makes it so uh, ravine like kills kills less. Okay. It's not a terrible idea. Yeah. I don't love it because I'd rather have this bounce target. Yeah. Well, I mean, we it's a bounce target next turn, right? Like, when they ravine next turn, we can bounce it with our elusive. That's what I mean. I'd rather have a bounce target, right? I'd rather be able to bounce our... Oh, you mean as opposed to, like, attacking. Yeah, no, I, I don't like attacking with bird. Okay. Okay. 
We do kind of need um. There's really good caller. That's now um, relevant. And we're just killing our opponent next turn, right? Yeah. Now we're well. I don't want killing next turn. Are we? Are we flipping? Yeah, we're not flipping. Are we next turn? Um. Are we, wait, four. So five, like we no, we're not. We bounce bird, take a shitload of damage, and then we are uh just like three wide with elusives. Is Ari flipping? Ari's not flipping yet, but. Oh, well, maybe it's not worth so, it. But, so the question is, are they killing us in two turns? Attack? And if we don't have Hoko, no. I think we're dead. Can you hear your heartbeat? I can. Possibly. I think we're dead. I, th I think if we play Bard, Bard, because I don't think they're gonna be able to get four. I think we're looking at a two roll. Um, true. And like Bard does block well, right? Bard has a fat yeah, ass. You, here, I like playing probably orange, is what I would play there. So you might want to recall the bird. Like threading a needle. Yeah, I don't hate just recalling bird, but... Because here, like, what you don't want to do is make it to a double for all attack kill. So you're saying that you would have preferred to, like, wait to see if they attack to, like, trade down our bird? Uh, I would have traded hope. bird. I would have used the, the recall. Oh, bird. recall. Oh, recall. The spell recall. Yeah. One mana spell, save health. Because now we're dead to a double. Well, dead is a strong word. We're... Alive adjacent. Fucking bard, dude. I mean, he's a big boy. I'll give him that. But he's a big boy, but like... He's also almost flipped. So, okay. They have, um, they have a six... That's what that's what this pass is. Yeah, which means like, do we even attack with Ari? Oh, we can if we buff Ari with uh, Esmus. Yeah, you definitely recall here. Do you actually? Because then you're like calling your whole board. Uh, Ari's not flipping, is she? Oh, she is. Oh wait, wait, this is so good then. Wait. Putting four cards into hand. I mean, none of them are droplets, so we're not overdrawing, right? Yeah, whenever we're not overdrawing. The only downside of this, like this play, is we're only pushing four damage. Five damage. Not even five. Yeah, it's it's not damage. much damage at all. If only you were made of rock. It, it doesn't matter how you block this play. Unless he's like got. He, if he has freeze, it does. Let's talk about your dad. Yeah. That card's so broken. So we recall Esmus here? Do we need to recall anything? Uh, yeah, to flip Ari. She's flipping anyway. Yeah, oh, because of the Mourn. Oh, yo, I'm so yeah, stupid. Yeah. Holy shit. No, you're right, you're right. Good call. Do we ever put shadows up to the left though to the right? That's one question. Um, so it's gonna be discounted, so I think we're fine. True, we do get a lot. We get a draw longer. Which is like a like, yeah, because like we can play out like all these cards again. Like there's only one unit that we can't play out. But yeah, it's just like bird into shadow assassin. God, I forgot the mourn count is a recall, dude. I'm just not on it today. But that's okay. Oh, we're just t buffing we're the shit out of the top card. Okay. Dope. And Bard is flipped now. After this, uh, yeah, the worry is going to be that we do know. <sighs> we do know that they're uh, instantly bursting out these thralls, right? So yes. we're close to dead. We're not dead, but we're close to dead. We, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, are we oh dead to goodness. ravine? Oh, that, we're dead. That's game. That's game. We're dead. Oh. Well. Oh, this card is so broken. Uh, that card's kind of good, huh? That card is so broken. Succumb. Succumb these nuts. Damn. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, okay. Ooh, okay. Alrighty. I've lost myself again. Alrighty, Imtux. <clears throat> uh, I knew you played really well, man. The fucking... <laughs> picking up two wins there? That was really good shit. Well done. Yeah, winning's a bad matchup, it helps a lot.
Yeah, imagine winning good matchups, dude. Never us. Never us. <laughs> I'm mad, dude. Holy shit. No, I mean, it happens. It happens. Yeah, I mean, it happened in your games, too. Yeah, no, I'm... Yeah. Sorry, we'll get hard carried by Imtux. <laughs> Prage. E. Just gotta believe in the boy. Imtux is the god gamer. He's the one who 3 0 last week, making sure we didn't even have to play. This week, we put it on his shoulders again. This time, not picking up three wins. Just picking up two game wins. One set win before we make it into semis. Semis is next week, yeah. We just gotta believe. We just gotta believe. Hmm. If they if they start eventually, you know, we we have time. We have time. We're just showing. Yeah, it's tough, man. All right, let's go. There we go. Let's fucking go. All right. That looks an awful lot like a uh, like a Farron in our hand. Now, funnily enough, Farron not the best card in this matchup. Um, we are playing Annie Ezreal, so the things that we want are removal spells like Disintegrate, Vengeance, um, Scorched Earth, potentially Flock. Flock's okay. Um, I don't hate keeping Elise, and I don't hate keeping Catalog. Because with Catalog out, this uh, Disintegrate suddenly represents killing two different things. House Spider's also really good in this matchup to just chump for multiple turns. Playing that on turn one is weird, unless they have literally Bright Steel, I guess. Okay, well, I mean... We just, we just pass, right? Like, we don't care. Do we care? Yeah, we just always pass here. Yeah, I didn't think this so. Too much stuff. And I assume, like, Elise is fine here? Okay, Rainbloom's fine, too. I dig that. I'm not upset with that. We're representing a lot of mana, I guess. From your shadows, demon. House Spider's good, too. You know, we're, we're vibing. We're vibing. We probably aren't swinging with Elise, even if we play her, right? So, like... Yeah, because we'd be playing super hard in a pale and giving them, like, a reason to target this turn, right? And giving them value on their targets is usually what you want to avoid. So, I think House Spider makes a lot of sense here. Okay. We don't have a way to activate Disintegrate yet, other than literally just, you know, blocking. Which isn't always the most consistent thing in the world. But we are basically getting our catalog down for free if we want it. Okay, dope. It's an interesting pass, but like, it's honestly not bad for us. It's not great, but it's not bad either. Opponent using both of these Zenith Blades, by the way, just gives us a ton of value on this Disintegrate if we're able to double it up, right? Like, we attack right here. And if they block into this disintegrate, I think we're just like so far ahead. It's crazy. If we want to. The other option is like we might want to just like play it safely. You know? Definitely a solid option as well. Okay. Yeah, just look in a cycle. I don't hate that. That's fine. Our worry is that we don't have a way to activate like all of our damage based pings, right? Like the disintegrate and the flocks. Oh, they're in this whale. Which whale is just like really awkward. I pull the strings. It is nice to get all this unit plays up. Yeah. No, getting all three Zenith blades means that like we're definitely uh Definitely in an okay spot if we could remove their stuff, right? The question is, do we disintegrate here? If you don't disintegrate, it gets really rough. I think we're just going for the, like, triple flux. Or, like, four flux. I mean, yeah, Flock's actually really sick when you double it. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, because, like, sometimes Flock isn't great in this matchup because their stuff gets so big. But, like, if you're just yeah, Flocking and we get, like, double Flock again next turn, like, we're just... <laughs> we get so many. That's crazy. Peace. Is it 
Okay. So we get two flocks back this turn, which is nice. Which is definitely nice. The fucking stream keeps crashing. You can still hear me, right? Yeah, you can be fine. I, I don't know why the fuck it's crashing. Honestly, this, this is solid for us, though. Right? My shield is yours. Okay. Okay. So the disintegrate here. It's kind of nice because if it's the only spell that we're playing, then we get the disintegrate back next turn, right? We get double copies of it, which means like this whale, dude. This is actually fucking insane. The catalog just continuing yeah, to double like up our crazy. spells. Yeah, this is disgusting. Okay, well now it's a little bit awkward because now we're gonna end up using this flock. So as far as like what we're getting next turn, we could get flock, we could get disintegrate. It's hard to say. I mean, it's 50 50 is what it is. But yeah, the amount of value that we've gotten is kind of I fucking. Think flock is the worst. Oh, we take more damage, but I think we're still high enough. I know what yeah. It's not the end of the world, right? But yeah, we're definitely priced into this. <laughs> into this flock. We don't have another option. We've used up most of our hand doing all of this, but we've gotten rid of all three of their Zenith Blades. So the only real threats, oh no, there's still one Zenith Blade. But after we kill no, it, which it's, gonna, it's gonna die next turn. Oh, um, on board, yeah. Yeah. Um, the only thing that we're worried about now is Pantheons. So like if we find any more kill spells, oh, I mean, that's so good. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> If they, hit, if they don't hit spell shield, we win the game. Can we play it all or no? Oh, no, we can't play it all. Oh, they hit spell shield. They're so good at Legends of Runeterra. It's, is it elusive? It's not elusive. Which means that we could stun yeah, spider to pop its spell shield and then double disintegrate on the attack. The issue is going to be if we do that and they don't attack, then we could be in trouble. God, I wish we had one more mana. One more mana would be so good here. Interesting. It, it seems likely to me that they won't attack here, by the way. Like, it, it's the correct play. It's just, will they make it? It depends. Like, they could also put us on, like, having flocks and stuff. Instead of, you know, what we do have. Which is you know, double disintegrate. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! Cannot believe that result. Wow. Okay. So I mean, what are we losing to now? We're losing to extra copies of Pantheon, right? We're also a little yeah. bit low. But the thing is that we Tybalt next turn. And, like, this whale is just fucking huge. Tybalt does tap us out of whale. So, I guess, like, rally. Rally plus a unit could be, like, a little bit scary. But, like, I think we're vibing. Oh, fuck you. It's Scout Elusive. And Spell Shield? Dude. Dude, Dude, that's a fucking joke. We killed all three Zenith Blades. We killed a Pantheon. And fucking second Pantheon is gonna... God damn it. Is there a top deck that saves us? Whispered words into, like, ping plus disintegrate? Yeah, we don't play Vengeance when us be that. Yeah. Like, the whale's good, but I, I don't think it's enough. Well, okay, if they have zero cards in hand... It's enough. If they have literally zero cards in hand, but that seems, you know, like wishful thinking. We're losing to basically... Oh, do they have Rally? Oh, Concerted? Okay, well. Oh, they have Impact. No, we were dead anyway. Dude. 
I mean... So yeah, it's Whispered Words into Ping plus Disintegrate. Oh, wow. Okay, we could hit uh, the, the Silence, right? We could hit the Silence here. We should stack this. We could also hit the Stun, a Nightfall unit, right? So we should yeah, stack this stack with the with the cast play changes. If you stack it, um, then uh, you still get the Nightfall. So now we're very much saying, okay, well, we have to hit the Silence. If we don't hit the Silence, we lose. Ah, uh, Doom Beast doesn't do doesn't it. Ah, uh, shit. Damn, that's rough, dude. That's so rough. It feels like we had an insane hand. But they just they just had more insane. Feels even more insane. Alright. That's fine, that's fine. We'll see. We'll see. What's the uh what's the other deck that they're playing? Oh, it's Chase Heimer, right? Okay. We have a Jace Heimer mirror, and then Annie, uh, Elise into Jace Heimer. So, uh, the mirror is obviously favored for Imtux. I think we know this. Oh, we kept Vengeance. That's oh, so interesting. I don't think I ever would have kept it, but like Imtux has obviously played this mirror much more than I have. So I, I, I respect the hell out of it. I would have been much more likely to hold on to uh, Mystic Shot. Is Mystic Shot hitting Handler before they play a six cost spell if they greed? Um, or hitting like a big turret um, if they low rolled their six cost spell? Four oh cannon me. Ah! Another one! Why, Why are, are there, there so many? Yo, Cheekster with the nine months, buddy. Thank you so much. I appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you. Drawing into Mystic, I'm down for it. Because like if they Handler here, we're like so happy. Obviously, they don't want to block this because they want to hold on to their french fries. French fries is a good card. Come on, people. Let's make tomorrow today. Okay. So, playing down Handler before we play a six cost spell is like always scary. Right. Oh, the pass. Oh, dope. Great. I now we just get Heimerdinger down, right? We got Heimerdinger. We double flash. I mean, we're just, we're so fucking far ahead. Holy shit. Because the thing is that they're playing that vengeance out without getting any value on their Heimerdinger. They don't get to Heimerdinger this turn. Um. Yeah, we're just so far ahead here. Oh my god. What a tempo play. What a tempo play. Dude, this Imtox guy is kind of kind of good at Legend and Terra, huh? What's up with that? Especially since, or again, remember they don't want to block with this French fries. They can block the two one and like feel fine about that, I guess. Um, but yeah, they just they just used Vengeance and Mystic Shot, um, and got no value. We used Double Flash and a Mystic Shot, uh, and got three units out of it. Right? It's just. So huge. Because now if they Heimerdinger right here and try and do the same thing we just did, uh, we just can play our own. Or we could just Vengeance it, and then they don't get any value. Double Handler's also sick here, because like we could just open Vengeance next turn. Or we could play Heimerdinger plus Vengeance, can we? Yeah, we have the mana to Heimerdinger plus Vengeance next turn. Uh, the spell that opponent was representing, I guess, is Thermo? That's the only thing I can think that makes sense. Oh, I guess Production Search. Okay, that's fine. Not playing that earlier seems weird. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, what are we looking for here? We definitely want to play a six-cost spell to activate our handlers, right? We absolutely want to. So maybe we, I mean, this, uh, this uh, Hexec Transmogulator is actually kind of goaded, huh? Smogulator. Mm. 
Looks like we're not going to end up doing that. What, it pushes, what, four damage? If we do it? Like, we have lethal. If we do it right here. And they have nothing. If they have zero cards. We kind of force a vengeance out, I think. Yeah, I think we do it. Because it just forces something. Yeah. It forces something. It trades here. <laughs> Wait, we're turning our 3-1 into their handler. And he's playing on their handler. Because it gets an extra buff. Um... It gets an extra buff because it already got a buff. Um, but also, if they want to kill it uh, to, like, cancel it or something, they aren't killing one of our units. You know, if we did it on one of ours, then it might be able to get Vengeance. But if they want to cancel this, then they would have to, you know, kill their own unit. They aren't getting double value here. It's actually so smart. Yeah, we, we basically forced out a Vengeance here. That's so good. Like, dope. We keep our units. Opponent has four cards in hand. We have five. We have two on board. Uh, they're starting to starting to look a little bit worse for rare here. We might just end up slamming down our Heimerd here. Kind of depends on what they're going to do, I guess. Nine-man production surge. Yeah, this feels like a Heimerdinger slam. This feels like Heimerdinger into, like, our own vengeance. Um, or we could just slam this. It's fine, too, I guess. Heimer into Vengeance, like, you know, it would be cool too, but, you know, fuck it. We don't need it. We're better than that. We don't need that shit. Oh, and Double Mystic means that we're, we're even beating, like, a Double Vile Hand or something. Like, Vengeance Double Vile. Especially done a Mana for but, you know, you, you get the point. You get the point. GG. God damn. Okay. Okay. Imtux picking up the mirror. Easy clap. We've seen, if you watched last week, Imtux was insane on this deck. So no surprise here. Now we're down to the last game. We're down to the last game. It's going to be the Jace Heimerdinger against Annie Elites. Now, how does that matchup go? I actually have no idea. Do you know Milk? I think badly. For us? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me check stats real quick. Annie Elise into Jace Heimer. Jace Heimerdinger has like insane uh like an insane win rate for almost against almost everything. Um it looks like 37% is the win percentage of Annie Elise in this matchup. So it's definitely a bad matchup. I think ways that we're winning it, if we can resolve like a pack, um, or opponent has like a slow hand, um, then we're pretty solid. Solid. Or if opponent ends up, like, playing uh, a production surge on three, you know, bank, bank, production surge, and they hit, like, the elusive. And, you know, we trade, like, a vile piece for it. That's really good, too. Ooh, I like catalog. Catalog with go hard means that, like, we could be representing, like, a very early pack. If we can get rid of one of his boards, then, like, we should be in an okay spot. Okay. Well, hopefully they... Oh! Okay. I don't hate that. We probably have to Vile here. Right? I, I think yeah, we have I to. Vile to put on Handler. Yeah. One of them. A hundred percent. Like, we you might even, like, open Vile next turn. Just to kill something. The other option, like, top deck Whale would be really good. But then we're letting them get Heimerdinger down, which is bad. It's rough. And we have Flock, so it's not like the end of the world. But... Oh, the trade down is great for us. Wait. Them deciding to just trade down the board? I So that represents, what, Heimerdinger, I guess? Definitely not Handler. Maybe another production surge? Yeah, that's a Beheimer. No, Yo, Heimer. that's not a Heimer. Holy shit. Wow. Okay, so that maybe they just have a really slow hand. And they're like, okay, well, if I don't trade down now, it's going to get rough later on. But we, we kind of have a read on no handler, which is, like, really good for us. 
I think that's really good for us. Yeah, no handler, no hammer is really fucking good. Yeah. We can also get our uh, our catalog down without dying for it. And catalog just gives so much value. What? He did have it? Oh, I guess he has no production surge. What? I don't... I don't understand. I don't understand. Dude! <laughs> Stop it! Oh my god. Did they change the way that, that card works, by the way? I swear that it gives so many more units than it used to. It used to hit one unit so often. Now it does not. Now it does not. Okay. Saving the spider. And we heal a lot, right? That's one thing that our deck does very well is heal. Especially once we get a, a Tybulk down. Um, getting to that point could be a little bit rough. But like we can Vile plus Whale here. Or not Whale, but uh, Go Hard. Yeah, we literally just go for really big Tibbers. Yeah, Vile, and then we go hard a Handler, and then, like, Tibbers just fucking kills everything. That's really good for us. The thing's gonna be making sure that we're holding up um, the ability to kill a champion, which we are, right? Like, the uh, second copy of Go Hard from Catalog, plus this Flock, represents killing any champion. So it's actually, like, a huge play here. We'll see if it's enough, but, like, this is getting us some tempo back. Whispered Word is really fucking good here. For your sand is a super slow in this draw a ton of cards. We have time. Yeah, agreed. Okay. So I guess we're trying to bait them into playing a champion here. Like, opponents should just pass here, is the issue. Okay. I think we're, yeah, I think we're fine until it passes because of the Whispered Words. Hmm. Okay. It slows down our pack, but, like, maybe we're fine with that. Open attack isn't representing that much damage. So we're not that worried yet. No Rainbloom Conservatory. Like, once Tybalt comes down and all of our drains are uh, doubled, like, it just actually becomes so important. I've got your balance books here, wow. Show me results. Not numbers. I mean, that's crazy that they developed into this. They knew we had to go hard. Interesting. Okay, so next turn we're looking to flock handler plus flock Jace. I'm surprised we flock instead of just getting the whispered words back. Yeah. I mean, maybe we do this, that way we get the double. Well, I don't think we're allowed to let, uh, what's his nuts? Tybalt, or not Tybalt, but, um, Dumbledore get his ability on the stack. I think it's really scary for us if we let that happen. I mean, this, this go hard in hand is packed, by the way. It's literally packed next turn. Okay. I mean, it's definitely just go hard here, right? Yeah, for sure. It's go hard on Heimerdinger. We flock him. We play our whispered words this turn. And we're just like, we're, we're vibing. The other option, like you could vile instead um, if you wanted to, just for like the extra blocker to be like ultra save. But I mean, even then, like, hmm, I don't know. The thing is, if they have, like, multiple flashes plus a Mystic Shot, we could be in trouble. Because they might just, like, tempo us out know. this turn. Because we just pack them next turn. Yeah, and the issue is going to be, like... Another Heimer, or, like, a third production surge. The issue is going to be, like, taking too much damage this turn. Because, like, if they had double flash... Okay, well, they don't have it. But if they did, then, like, you know, a couple of uh, four attack Fearsons become, like, really scary. But, yeah, we do have pack next turn right that's really good god this one's close we're always flocking yeah i think just saving health is good vile okay 
It's crazy that they didn't vile pre-attack to get rid of a blocker. I think that they could have like pushed a lot of damage this turn. Why not really? They could have just like forced us to vile back. But still might have been good. Hard to say. Yeah, it'd be better than letting us whisper towards. Uh this whale would be so good if we had Okay, all the also like this unit doesn't matter because we're always getting pack here. Um God, no Tybalt. Like, it, this whale becomes insane if we had played a Tybalt out. But, like, the fact that we just haven't had access to one yet is really rough. There's nothing to fear. Elise is great as just a pass. Because now opponent, like, has to pass back. Oh, we have fucking nuts. Opponent just doesn't give a fuck? I'm so confused, actually. Do you have hair? Huh? They could have harrowing. That's a good point. Is harrowing bugged? No, they fixed it uh, Wednesday. I guess today. Did they? Okay. Because I know it was uh, I know it was banned before this, so I assume it's no longer. I mean, dope. Have we used any other spells this turn? We have not, right? So we're not getting any copies or anything. No. We have Tibbers, though, to stop any sort of a develop. Oh, another go hard is... We could just yeah, pack their bags hard. next turn. Oh, my God. Okay. Come on. Financier. Hmm. That's not a heroine. It's not a harrowing. Agreed. It might just be a pass here. I don't know. It's so hard to say. Because you want to hold up mana, but you don't want to, like... You don't want to tap below this Tibbers, right? Like, we at least want to hold up Tibbers. So we could Tibbers here and stun Handler. And then if they play out a champion, we can still kill it with Go Hard plus Block. It does kind of mess up our pack next turn. Like, we might not get pack, but it might just be worth it. Okay, Vile for a blocker. That's not bad either. We're deciding that we don't need a pack next turn, and that's like, that's valid. That's valid. Only one of these is vile, which is kind of a bummer. But it's okay. Well, now we have access to flocks this turn that we don't mind using because they aren't messing up our uh, catalog. Wow. Wow. And we tibs. We tibs and then, like, pack is lethal. Yeah, we're just pushing lethal here. Well, I mean, we're not pushing lethal, like right now but like yeah, we're showing lethal next lethal. turn that's crazy fucking pharaoh's financier dude holy shit oh we're actually one off of lethal by the way because we haven't played a tibber yet or a tibble yet that's my bad i'm a dirty liar We'll see, as long as they don't get, like, one of their champions out. Or Dumbledore. Like, Dumbledore could be an issue. Oh, there's actually a lot of hits that are really scary. They don't run a ton of units. Major's like a Forge Chief, okay? Forge Chief. Okay, Archivist is great for us. We only plays one of the seven drop. That's really good. Oh, is that right? Okay. Hmm. What is this? Was this top deck? This is probably production search, right? Oh, piercing? Okay, it's fine. Whispered Words is super good though. Yeah, Whispered Words is great because we get as many copies as we want next turn. How much would you like to draw next turn? You decide. <laughs> I mean... I mean, 
we can pack their bags again next turn, by the way. If we use the, the regular pack here. Um, oh, I mean, this is fine, too. We, we kind of need targets to pack. And these do go back to go-hearts. Like, even if they have a champion here, we're still winning. Like, because we can just go hard block it. Dude, all the go-hearts. Holy shit. How many have we played? Way too fucking many. We have 32 cards in our deck. An opponent has 21. So that's... We've added a ton of go-hearts to our deck. And they're always summoning a unit because of War Mothers. Oh! And it's the fucking 2-1! Okay. I mean, we just have pack in hand. Pack isn't quite lethal on its own yet, but opponent has to develop out blockers. If they don't develop out blockers, then they're just dead. This is a hugely unfavored matchup, by the way. Shock Blast here is like worst case scenario, but even on a Shock Blast or a Dawning Shadow or whatever, like we could just draw if we want to. Draw does tap us below pack this turn. Oh, but there's Tybalt! We finally found Tybalt. Holy shit. This is fine. We're like, okay, yeah, dope. And we, we could go harder on unit. We could also... I think oh, I think we have the go harder unit play around harrowing. Unspeakable face. Oh, to play around harrowing? Oh, that makes sense. It's like the biggest thing we're losing to here. Wow, that would make around. a lot of sense. The issue is, okay, so what's like the worst case scenario on the unit that they get off of War Mothers? Like, is there open scary if we do that? <laughs> nah. Is it, is it like he has no hits because he doesn't, you know, doesn't have any seven drops left? So the thing about if we had played Unspeakable last turn is that we would be able to, uh, like, we'd have triple Unspeakable right here, right? If we're deciding that we want, like, the extra drain. Okay, they're drawing six, but they're That's dead, right? Last chase. This is their last chase, but, he like, I think dead. they're just dead. He needs, like, double vial. No, he can't play that. Like, I, I don't know if they're dead this turn, but, like, they're going to fall so far behind on board, I feel like. He doesn't have any more piercing darkness. Unless it's generated, which they did flash earlier. But, I mean, yeah, they, they, they just played Poggers play today. And we just... We could go hard here, or we could get the triple... The fucking triple... Oh, we Wait, each of those does three! Yeah. They're getting excited! They're getting excited to heal! Hello? Because we just Tybalt here, and then we have six face damage, or nine face damage. Oh, there goes the vial. They can't have enough healing. Holy shit. This is it. Fuck Holy the unfavored matchups, bro. Shit. This is fucking Imtox. You think bro. Imtox loses these? Hell no. Hell no. We lost every single favored matchup today. We, lost, we just won every single bad matchup. Bro, winning Maybe. favored matchups is cringe as fuck. Oh Who needs it, man? <laughs> All I see is triple oh, fucking get excited God, in hand. Let's fucking Holy go. Aw, oh, he didn't even Top BM. Four, baby. Imagine not BMing here. Oh, what a gamer, dude. What a fucking oh, gamer. That's, that's so fucking good. Yo. Let's fucking go. Whoa. Yo, Imtox, let's Holy fucking shit, go, dude. dude. Oh, my God. Goodness, the outcry. <laughs> Easy clap, bro. Oh yeah, who needs Tibble? Just fucking pack their bags six times. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. What a fucking game. Holy fuck. Holy fuck, dude. Oh my goodness. Um, we're, so we got the interview. Um, we're. So we're. Are, are we good to go for the interview now? Yeah, I'm done. I'm down as fuck. I'm down. That way they don't have to wait, he'll right? Drag. He'll drag us. That's my guess. Are they going to bring all of us? or? Uh, that's my guess. They wanted to do the whole team. Oh, dope, 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 dope. That was nuts, dude. That was fucking nuts. Mr. Tuck over here. Did we win a single favored matchup the entire time? I, it was rough. We won three on favorites. No, holy shit. <laughs> it was rough. Wait, sorry, we, had, we won one. Wait, they just server muted us. Chat, they just server muted us. Those fucking cucks.
yeah, they just keep on spawning, keep on happening. But at the end, it that? does work. Oh, but no, it does work out in the end, and the value just end up being. Oh great. my god! Now, how cringe! We are getting an interview with cringe. the winning team. I'm just waiting to hear noises. Yes, oh. we are. Okay, we perfect. are getting an interview. Yeah, they're pulling in now. How's it going, everyone? Pretty. What's up? What's up? <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's up? Congratulations. Yes, You're congratulations is <laughs> congratulations is due. It was a pretty interesting series. It went the whole distance, the whole distance, and you know, not a lot of times it go, does that. But M Tuck, I'll start with ask, asking you this, or I'll start with this question. This one's for everyone. How does it feel to make it this far and win the set? I mean, it feels well, great. If you, if you were paying attention last season for the Frozen Monks, we kind of didn't make it past the first round. It was kind of weird, kind I of remember. unlucky. Um, but remember. this time around, I mean, you know, fuck it. We have Imps Hux out here in form, Milk out here picking up wins in unfavored matchups. I'm here, you know, and it's it's great. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Moral support is a very important aspect of the game, Ikado. Don't count yourself out. Every member matters. Every yeah. member does their part. Yeah. All right. So the second question for this will be one at a time. We'll we'll go down the order that you guys played today. So so <clears throat> Ikado, which of the three decks did you run that felt like a pretty much free win? Um uh a free you know, I'm gonna be honest with you, uh the I, the decks that I brought, um I probably have a collective like twenty games across all three decks. So, you know, we were just kinda we were hoping that the matchup tables would carry us. Memin. And it just you're memeing on them. Uh, you know, I, I had believe I, I just listened to Imtux, bro. Imtux told me what to play. I was like, dope. I mean, he 3 0 last week. I'm not going to tell him no. <laughs> See, there's the, logic the, behind that. Makes sense. Yeah. The prophet has spoken. So you must listen. All right. How about you, Milk World? What did you like, like running today? Every deck was crazy, dude. Ari is so nice. Oh, I, I did enjoy watching the Ari. Give me that deck. I think everyone on <laughs> cast enjoyed watching the Ari deck. I think yeah. there's no question in that. It was nuts until I drew triple no fibers and throws. Oh, yeah, that was draw. that was rough. That was an unf that was an unfortunate draw. And how about you, M Tuck? Which one did you like the most today? If I got to play it, my Aphelios <laughs> deck, I think it's the most broken <laughs> deck in the game right now. But well, that's probably why it was banned, M Tuck. Okay, I know the logic. But I'm still sad. Um, so I'm, I feel like you should. Oh, sorry, sorry. I was going to say, if it wasn't for that, the Heimer J spec just feels like it has game in everything. Mm -hmm. um, it feels solid. I was yeah, going to say, uh, I was just going to say to for the decks, I feel like you need to tell everyone that it's actually not that good so that maybe they real, they think about it and then leave it open if you want to play it. Mm -hmm. Just just start yeah. lying profusely about yeah. it. Like, guys, Reverse the Ophelios Vi deck sucks into... Whatever matchup is really good to just be like, this deck is terrible. Why are you guys banning it? Mm -hmm. yeah, no, that makes sense, bro. Annie Elise, it looked a little bit shaky, but you guys are just wrong. It's actually the best deck in the game. Uh, and we're definitely bringing, <laughs> you know, three copies of it. We're, uh, you're, you, know, you have to keep worrying about that next week, okay? <laughs> Catal er, catalog of Regrets, actually underrated, guys. Kind of OP. Um, I mean, I did draw three. And they were true. I needed yeah. all three. I really <laughs> true. Had three. <laughs> Actually, it, it, was, works. it it was some some lo lo fi go hard to chill relax to at the end of the stream there. So definitely a nice <laughs> change of pace. But no, I, I I really like watching the 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 Jace Heimerdinger deck. We saw it last week on stream too, and there was some some interesting, questionable even production surges that we saw, but. I think it's it's a really fun deck to watch just because of the the potential options you have for it. So I was really enjoying was, watching it tonight. I was really really happy with the um, the cheeky line to attack into uh, the transmog. I, I thought that was I yeah. Really happy with how that no, the transmog was a really good play. I liked that one a lot. Um, because the 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 buff that it gave all your units forced out the the vengeance right, and then you you play something off of that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Do you have do you have the next question, TDS? Yeah, and I, and it's something that you guys brought up. Uh, I think it was a cat particularly that brought this up with uh, you guys or last tournament last season not being able to. I don't want to say deliver on expectations, but falling short really early on, and this time around being able to go even farther. I kind of curious if it's just all 
staging up for the revenge of you guys and trying to take it all at the end? Well, you know what it came down to is that we just didn't have to run into Stromboli week one. You know, everyone knows that Stromboli is literally the best team that's ever, you know, uh, played in RA. And thankfully, we swapped over to Aegis. Uh, you know, so their uh, their regular season was a little bit less good. So we didn't have to worry about Stromboli and playoffs, which is unbeatable, of course. The Aegis buff to, to Frozen Monks. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Exactly. exactly yeah. <laughs> it makes complete sense to me. Sad for Stromboli, but their demise means that you guys can go farther. So exactly. Yeah, make sure to pour one out from the semifinals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, honestly, I think the reason we're like doing a lot better this time. I, I think we got really unlucky in the, the first uh, round last season, where mm -hmm. like a lot of bad things happened at the same time. Kuchio became a okay. This isn't a bad thing. This is a great thing, but it was bad for our team. Kuchio became a dad. <laughs> um, so bad for our team. Great for him. Um, yeah. And then. Uh, at the same time, I had COVID, so it was just a really bad first week. Um, but like outside of that, this this for this season, we've just got like our team worked really well together. Like I I basically became a flex pick where I can just kind of play whatever is needed. I kind of learned aggro for us, and then uh, like Milk and Gam kind of were just like bringing like interesting decks that are hard to like. They're they're unique decks. Like no, who's thinking Bard already, right? No one. No one. Well, I am Jeez. now after watching Sadly, that yeah. so i'm taking it <laughs> but yeah well i'm i'm glad that you guys are able to make it forward i was definitely pretty sad in the the runeter academy playoffs that you guys didn't even make it past the first round because i think i was casting that one that was it was really unfortunate to watch i'm not sure but... was it that um just just to remember was that the reverse sweep because i feel like it was a reverse sweep it was an almost reverse sweep oh i kind of i kind of brought it there yeah it Oh, Wait, yeah, yeah, so yeah. do you guys do you guys have results on the other series or no? Hirsch, do we have results on the other series? I do not. Okay, uh, uh, blame it on Hirsch. Who's on our yeah. side of the bracket? Can we start shit talking them yet or what? Yeah, we're playing. Uh, no, we shit talk whoever you want. I'm, I'm yeah, here. Yeah, Go we we it. wanted to start beef up with a lot of the teams, Wait, but everyone is way too respectful. Bats. You are against, against Wombats. Ooh. Wait, who's yeah, on yeah, them? Who's on that version of Wombats? It's the uh, one from our group. It's a uh, Trevo random and all those. Oh, wait, wait. Didn't we, like, actually fucking 6 0 them or no? Yeah, we're, yeah, we're yeah. like 6 0 versus them right now. Okay, well, dope. I mean, okay, so who's uh, who's making it to finals then? See, see, they were on last week and they were like, oh, I don't want to shit talk anyone. But you guys are out here for blood. <laughs> they were like, oh, man, nah, they're all my friends. They're all cool guys. I don't have anyone to shit talk. I do. I do want to say that don't take that up. If you want to shit talk, shit talk. We want to spice things up. Just saying. So <laughs> it, it's fully supported by Aegis. We fully support that. Yeah, I mean, Milk's basically half that team's boss. So. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm the entire team's boss, bro. <laughs> <Okay>. Oh God. Good to be a fun super class. So, all right. Any any other questions to you guys? Uh, no, for my side, I feel like we talk quite a bit, and I feel like you guys must be tired after five <laughs> game series, so... I don't want to uh, hold you up that long, if I'm honest. Milk did drink. How many mon- what mon number monster are you I'm on right ten. now? Exactly <laughs> ten right now. Jesus oh my god. Christ. I just killed the tenth one. Uh, yeah. She must be a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Milk she might goes, be dead by next week, so I mean, we'll, we'll see, I guess. I think it's top four. Jesus. Uh, I was gonna say, Milk Am might not want to make the bundles. Amateur Runeterra player found dead of heart attack after drinking 12 Red Bulls. That's just an unreasonable amount, man. Come on. <laughs> like, so I, after, I, this, I, after the second, you gotta, like, wait for it to kick in, or else you're just gonna be, like, oh, yeah, to on be your 10th and the third is gonna hit you. I only have Monster. <laughs> uh, well, you know, now that, now that you mention it, we won. So I'm gonna need you to drink 12 Monsters again next week, okay? That'd be great. <laughs> yeah, that's a that now, you, now? now you set a poor week. precedent, Milk. I have confirmation oh, of influence on the kids. I have confirmation of the semis final matchups. It's beautiful gamers versus Church of Targon and uh, Wall Battling Guns versus for the monks, yep. Fucking crazy top four. Oh R RTA lost, dang. Wait, yeah, did that's that? actually an exciting an exciting semifinals. It was a three two series. <laughs> Makes sense. Oh, so all the series Yeah, the every single set days. went to game five. Or quarters. Every quarter went to three days. Wait, so it's who versus Church Targon? Beautiful Gamers. Yeah, beautiful Gamers. All right. Okay, well, yeah, so I'll... we're playing Beautiful Gamers in the finals. Dope, 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 dope. <laughs> <laughs> well, for those of you who can't hear Hirsch, it's going to be 
beautiful gamers versus church of targon yeah and wombat flingons versus frozen Bunts for the semi-finals which is why ikado is is continuing the bm of saying they're going to play beautiful no, gamers. So it's not, like, gonna, not gonna lie if that ends up being the third place match it's going to be hilarious <laughs> that would be pretty cool <laughs> but i mean if you remember to last ra you know the only person that could bring down stromboli was beautiful gamers so i think that it's if we're taking up the mantle the mantle of stromboli um, you know, in their absence, I think that would just make sense that we go and we really, you know, avenge them in the finals against beautiful gamers. Mm. Yeah, a real redemption story. I like it. I like it. Will it work out, though? Who knows? <laughs> Wait till next week. All right. Wait well, till before, next week. before we send it off, anything else you guys want to say before we close out the stream? Any shout outs? Uh, the only one well, on the team is like. The... Yeah, go ahead. Oh, it's good shout oh, out to yeah. Mark for awesome. playing the Ari Bard. He was he was the one who like made the deck. We played it last week. I just yoinked it from him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, uh, respect. Shout out. I was gonna say shout out to like all the the, the, the socials for Kaido too, because he's the only one who's like a streamer on our team. So uh, plug the YouTube and all that fun stuff. Oh, we hit 1k subs today, bro. I'm good. Like, I, I don't need anything else. We're good. <laughs> I caught those rich, rich now. He's done playing AMLOR after this. <laughs> yeah, I don't can know I, about that. Can I get some cloud for your side, from your side? <laughs> I think that would work out for me. <laughs> That's a good point. A good point. But no, All I right, appreciate well, you guys. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for coming in. It's been a great time watching you guys play and having you all on the show for the interview afterwards congratulations for moving on to the semifinals great games all tonight